Nick Fuentes walks into a bar based and he orders a hot sake and the bartender looks at him and says uh ask me Yo, Big Vosh. Can you hear Big me? Vosh. Yeah, yeah, what's, what's up, up, Playboy? Okay, sweet. All right, it works this time. Hell yeah. What's up? What's up? Not much, bro. My bad for the delay. I'm uh, I'm still putting shit away. I'm extremely messy right now. Yeah, you're so talking to me the day after the day of? You're moving. Yes, yeah, correct. In the process. Correct. That, that's insane. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. But uh, I'm back, baby. <laughs> oh, you got the chicken out? I'm so hyped. Let's go. Dude, the chair, I th and I'm pretty sure you're wearing the same shirt that you were wearing the last time. Yeah, are you? I was going to say that. Wait, am I? Oh, okay, good. I didn't... If, if so, I, I didn't mean that, okay? I try to mix Change it up with my much. anime tees, you know? Bro, I wore, this, uh, I wore this in your honor. Oh, uh, fuck you. Wait, hold on, wait. I'm, I'm getting the thing up on screen. And it's oh, incredibly zoomed in. Wait, wait, incredibly do it again. Based. Do it again. Uh, this is in your honor, bro. Hell <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Based. Now we have a good guy and a bad guy for the, uh, for the bits. Yeah, one of these days I'll I'll wear a suit for you, but uh, today oh, is not that day. Yeah, Haven't I unpacked it I was it gonna yet. make it my thing now. I'm just gonna do the like Japanese businessman look. You know what I mean? That's like kind of swaggy, right? Dude, I hate no, that yes. you wear a suit because my mom uh, found the podcast somehow, and she's like, "Why is Harris always so? He looks so nice, <laughs> and you always look so ratty." And I'm like, "Oh my god." That's the dynamic, Mom. You don't I, get it. Yeah, ex you don't get it, Mom. Yes, yeah, exactly. the classic straight man, comedy man dynamic right there. You've got the the goofy goober, and you've yeah. got the the straight man. It's it's how That's it works. Right. Wait, wait, which one am I? Well, you'd uh, have to be the straight man in the suit, the right? Goober. But if you're a oh. Japanese businessman, you'd get drunk, and then you'd be the goofy goober because That's work right. culture doesn't let you express yourself outside. Oh of well, that. dude, uh, you know what? That works because Harris. Why don't you show off to Vosh what you're drinking tonight? I am drinking some sake right now, also to go along with my Japanese. Is that milky? Business. Fuck yes. Is it normally milky. It's cloudy sake. Yeah. Oh. Did really you good, actually ha have you had? Do you like sake, or is it purely I for do. the bit? No, I, I actually do like sake, but I can't get anybody to drink it with me. But it is good. I think it's good. It's not the easiest drink. Um, yeah, it's a little weird. I don't like it warm, too. When it's warm, it's like, ugh. Yeah, it goes down easy to me. You know, the first I time I ever got drunk was um was with sake. Oh, not really? Moscato? No, not, not Moscato. I, I, I was in Japan, and um we went to, uh we were I was with a friend. We were walking around some of the, like, you know, really cool like side windy alleys and went into a sushi bar and um i just decided to try some of the sake and i f fucking hated it but i did get tipsy yeah. off of it and then i sort of stumbled my way around tokyo until i found like some jack daniels and i continued the process of getting oh, increasingly drunk that sounds awesome actually yeah it's a good memory the, the first time i got drunk i think it was um i was drinking bacardi and pink lemonade i remember like this girl poured oh, me up a cup and was like here like drink this and i was like what is it she's like it's rum and and like whoever's house we were at they were like we should add pink lemonade in the fridge i was like oh, okay cool first time i got drunk very good times are we live streaming right now Bob? we are definitely live streaming probably should have fronted that hello Oh, Based. no, that's all right. I was just curious. Based. Uh, uh, hello to Vosh's audience. How are you guys doing? Bro, you must have had a uh, field day. Were you covering this Alex Jones, Kanye interview? Live? Yes, oh, yeah. I what woke up to it. I fucking, I was, I woke up, I was sleeping. Um, And the first text I saw was, yo, Kanye went on Alex Jones' podcast and defended Hitler. Um, <laughs> Which, you know, great. I wasn't expecting to do politics today, but. Uh, he you loves know, everyone, calls. bro. He loves everyone. Loves everyone, especially also, did, the Nazis. Is there? Did Hitler didn't make the microphone? Did he? No, what? Hitler did I'm not still caught up the on that. Okay, because he was mean? like, Hitler made the microphone I sing out of, and I was like, No, no, he didn't. That's At least not, I don't think so. Uh, is it a German? That's not true. Is it like a German invention? Uh, hold on. Figure that out. Yeah, well, watch it actually. Considering be like the fact invented. that Hitler was not an inventor, like, considering the fact that radio was invented in the 19th century, I have a feeling we probably had microphones um, before then. 
microphone invention. 1890 or 1876. Alexander Graham Bell. There you go. Who Close also invented the there. telephone. Wasn't yeah. he a Nazi or no? Bell died before the Nazis totally were a crazy. thing. Oh, okay. um, oh, well, there you he, go. he might have been one, though. Maybe he would have been. Rip. John That's Microphone. Alexander. Yeah. No. <laughs> what was your what is your take on this whole situation? Is there anything that's left to say that hasn't already been said about the Kanye situation? That's the cool Ooh, thing you're about stuttering a little bit on my end. Uh -oh. oh. I think that's you. You're you're roboting a bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. New place. Crisp. Okay, that there we go. Right. Yeah. Um the the nice thing about Kanye is that he really doesn't leave much room for analysis, does he? He's he's pretty upfront. He's pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. So really um really really not giving me much work to do there i don't know i think for me like the funny bit is that like all these conservative commentators were jerking themselves raw over based red pilled maga kanye and then mm -hmm. it's like oh well now he's a neo-nazi i wonder how that happened you know like the whole road he took to nazism was one laden with conservatives cheering him on so you know seeing them play that off will be pretty funny i guess it is pretty wild to be on Twitter and actually see, you know, I know it's not actually reflective of the real world. I have to remind myself that sometimes when I'm on Twitter, like chronically, but um, it's just like, it's crazy to see people that are just like, yo, Kanye be spitting facts low key. Like, this is kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I the, <laughs> the amount that I actually see that on Twitter, I'm like, that wow, do people really feel this way? This is so like antiquated. And like, I didn't know people were really... And people say shit on Twitter that they would never say in real life. I mean, we see that every day, but it's just like per perplexing to I, say the least. Yeah, I think it's um, I I think it's also like there's more of that than we want to believe there is, but not as much as we're seeing on there. A lot of it is like all these conservative groups have been like holding their shit in. They've been constipated for decades, and now finally <laughs> they've got like their guy out there screeching about this. So yeah. they're like losing their shit, jumping in, you know, like uh, it's our time. Let's let's all pretend to be like normies who six days ago heard about Kanye and they're like, hmm, actually, he's got some decent points here, you know. <laughs> it's crazy, Dude, the worst man. part about the entire scenario to me is how people are like, not like defending him, but how they're going like, I can't believe this is the man who made graduation. <laughs> maybe maybe this is a, a very hot take, but that's like not his best album. I don't know why Ooh. people say Graduation is his best album. It's nowhere near his best album. No. What's his best album? Yeah. Dude, either uh, Late Registration or Yeezus. Like, I feel like those are both way fucking better. Graduation was like, uh, it was like all auto-tuned and funky. It wasn't yeah. terrible. But he was, was like... kind of going in some new territory with that one in 808 and Heartbreaks, which is like, I think it did pave a new sort of like wave of Kid pop Cuddy. music. Yeah, but yeah. like... They're not the be his best albums. And even his best albums... I've said this on a previous pod, a non-Vosh episode, that like my issue with Kanye is that... Wait, you I guys do episodes without me? Yeah, we've done a few. But like the uh, my issue with Kanye is that like he cannot put out an album without sprinkling in at least like three songs that are just like garbage like I, I, yeah like yeah, yeah. i can't get like I, there's always a skippable song he's he's Kanye testing album. the waters for bad takes he's like you know um gotta get them ready for these because i've got a lot in stone <laughs> yeah exactly Dude, i wish i could see <laughs> i brought up you have you guys heard the unreleased track mama's boy no dude i <laughs> wish i could have been in the room when his manager whoever told him not to put it on the album but like dude look up the song mama's boy after this it's literally about him being a kid and like becoming the types of dudes who have sex with his mother it's very dude it's very very weird and i feel like he would have got clowned on for yeah, it but, i'd uh, sing weird. it but he says mm, he says the n-word a lot in this one there is know. yeah but dude it's Guess samples, he was always uh, far right <laughs> Interesting. It's samples moving out, which yeah. is so insanely fresh. Incredibly <laughs> based song. That is kind of based. Uh, oh, and it's also kind of crazy that he's going now. He's making rounds on these conservative talk shows, and so far he's two for two. Tim Pool and Alex Jones, like making them look moderate. I guess you could even throw Tucker Carlson in there. That like now, he talked to him too, and even Tucker, you kind of get that feeling. He was like, huh, wow. Yeah, and you see, really... and oh, it's it it bugs me too because all of these guys are totally okay with Nazi shit. Tim Pool, Alex, and Tucker did the same thing. All three of them. 
where um, Kanye would say some Nazi shit, they'd be like, ha ha, okay. Which, like, in my mind, if you're willing to sit there and go like, oh yeah, George Soros, you know, globalists controlling the election. Oh yeah, they're trying to destroy white people. And then when the guy that you're talking to is mentally ill enough to drop the dog whistle and just say like, oh yeah, the Jews. And you're like, whoa, you're not really protesting the idea. You're just protesting him being honest about what you've been saying too, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, dude, I'd counter that. And I feel like we could argue about this for hours, but uh, I really do think there's a large swath of people out there. Like just take Tim Pool for example, like just based on how you saw his reaction to all that stuff i really think someone like that is more not necessarily a grifter like they're only pretending they have these viewpoints to get money but uh they're more just like internet irony poisoned if that mm -hmm. makes sense like i don't know if i would call someone like that a full-on nazi because i don't think he would have reacted that way i think you it, know what i mean it might be more like they're okay with nazism is the thing because the even it, even then bro the line... i would say it's like he, he's not okay with it. It's more like he's poisoned. But, uh, bro, you're much smarter than me. <laughs> don't, don't you, right. hold, don't you play it off. Don't you back off. I'm no. Italian, baby. I'm stupid. Yeah. No, I think I think for real, it's I think it's more like they don't care that much. They know that being conservative brings the money in. And there are a lot of white supremacists and anti-Semites on the right. And the issue is that, like, they're... There are lines you can't cross, like, purely from a monetary perspective, you know? Like, Tucker Carlson mm -hmm. did this, too, you know? He'll talk about Soros until the cows come home, you know? But he edited out some of the anti-Semitism that Kanye dropped in their interview. And to my mind, like, if you're laundering somebody's opinions like that, that's kind of like defending them, right? Like, it, like imagine if, if you had a politician on, right? And you're, like, interviewing them, trying to see what's up with them. And they drop like 80% takes that are on your level and 20% shit that would get like the FCC on your ass. And you just quietly remove those, launder them, put out the good stuff. To me, it seems kind of like a quiet defense, right? Like you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, okay, like we're fine as long as we keep you a bit more quiet. And that's the shit I worry about because you're right. They do make people like Tim Pool look like moderates. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's pretty fucking weird. Do you think uh, Kanye actually stands a chance? Run? I don't even want to speak this into existence. But first of all, do you think he is going to run at all, or is that just a is that just a bunch of hot air? I don't even know if he's going to run personally. I, I think he's he he's burning through it too quickly, right? Like he like he, yeah. it's happening too quickly. His campaign managers are going to be like planners at this rate. I have no idea where he's, he's even going to get the infrastructure. He dude, he was dropping some bars on Alex Jones today, just like yep. I actually think Hitler was a good guy. I actually like I am a Nazi. Like all this cra I was like oh, like okay, a brave now, king. Yeah, because I, there was a wave of people when I saw like when Kanye when Kanye and this is going to lead into the other point about these like Tim Pool characters and shit is like there was a wave of people when Kanye was just like the Jews are silencing me and all this shit and people are like Bro, you're just afraid to hear the truth, man. Like, the Jews really do control this shit and blah, blah, blah. But now, what we're seeing is Kanye is actually like, no, not I'm not just saying the truth. I am... I am a Nazi. Like, I am a Nazi. Ideologically, right. yeah. Like, now, like now I, I'm curious to see what those people say because it's like, th those are the same people that are like, no, 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 I'm not a Nazi. You just... You just can't handle hearing the truth. I'm not a Nazi, though. But now now Kanye has gone ahead and said that he is. So it's like, okay, so are you guys going to pull out now? Do you want to... Did he actually he, say that? He said that. Dude, he okay. said... He literally I thought he was hand. just saying that no. he... Bro. You can find good in everyone. I must, no. I didn't watch the whole interview. I watched the clip. I watched okay. the clip. Okay. Okay. Alex Jones was like, I don't like when people... I don't like when people call me a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. All this shit. And Kanye raises his hand and he's like, I'm a Nazi. What now? I'm a Nazi. That's, God, what, what, a king. that's what the fuck he just said. That's what he said. It's like I just hope I just okay. hope we get past this fucking irony poisoned era or whatever. I feel like we're we've been at a point for a while now where like people can see Kyle and and like okay, like the um Sam Hyde, right? Um donated money to Stormfront. There's really no ambiguity. Thousands of dollars to Stormfront, you know, alongside a bunch of other stuff he's done. Don't get me wrong, I think you can say the guy's funny in addition to being a Nazi, but a lot of people wring their hands on that, right? Like, oh, it's a joke. It's like, well, it's, no, it's not a joke. Like, not everything can be a joke, right? I feel like in a way we've almost crossed, like, too far into the, into the, not just the irony poisoning, but, like, we've crossed so far into insincerity that at this point, 
it, it's like, oh, well, you know, that that gas camp that he built was ironic, right? It, 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 like, nothing means anything anymore, so we can't make mm -hmm. statements about what people believe. Dude, that'd be such a funny uh, concept that Hitler was just doing a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, really that, trying to stick to it, but like Andy it is funny. The that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the concern. Yeah. yeah, dude. Every time you try to bring up a bad scenario, like the, the last F oh. that fucking dead, dead. You know uh -oh. who it was? I'm not gonna say which race it was. Did I freeze? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, you froze for a second. Wait, was it? Maybe it was me. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Hello. No. Okay. Based. Based. Dude, this is probably my my internet connection. I, you just me, moved boys. in, dude. Yeah, it's it's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Well, what were you saying though? Were you I was saying just saying every, every time, time somebody... Vosh tries to come up with a, like a scary scenario, it's always like hilarious. Like the last time when he said Obama watermelon. And it was, <laughs> oh yeah, it that's was the problem. Really it is. Yeah, it's oh, so contextual. Uh, uh, you know? I don't know, man. You can imagine like the Cumtown boys making basically any joke, and you could be like, okay, well, yeah, they're all like Brooklyn Jews. It's all a big bit, you know. All yeah. three of us are Jewish, I assume. Um. I'm not yeah. actually, but we're we're doing a podcast, so I look Here, Jewish. Uh, Jewish yeah, coded. Yeah, I have a message to if there's any Jewish listeners right now. If you're not Jewish, take out your headphones. Don't listen to this. But I'm just. This is just for the mishpucha. <laughs> this is right? not gonna, for you. This is just for the mishpucha. If you, want, I'm going to tell you, let you in on a little secret. All right. <laughs> Get a gun. Go Are you Jewish? Gun. <laughs> Get a gun. Don't. I'm not telling you to do anything. Ra I am Jewish. Don't okay. do anything. Ra Ash. I don't want to assume all this. All this Kanye shit is going to blow over. But just in case, just get a gun. Just get one. All right. Oh, fully, everybody, yeah. Now you can, everybody can put their headphones back in, all right? Just, that's all I want to say. Arming the, the fucking Juden on the just, way out, just, you know? I'm just saying, they tried to they tried to get us before. It's going to happen again. Get a gun. If you live in America, you can do it. Anyway. Bro, I'll protect you. I won't let them okay, hurt yeah. you, bro. I got you. You just get an aluminum bat. Just something to fucking keep by your bed, just in case. Just that, in meme, case fuck, that meme somebody, of, like... The redneck yeah. and the Nation of Islam guy fist bumping and like this is what the establishment <laughs> fears. Except it's like um like fat white incels and Jewish guys with um with yarmulkes and they're they're getting ready to take down the um Based. yeah Based. Y right hell yeah unironically hell yeah. though. Harrison, did you switched. ever worn a yarmulke? Yeah, of course. What do you mean on bar mitzvah? Yeah, I've been to weddings, all kinds of shit. Oh, I don't gosh. wear it like day to day, but yeah. Like, what do you think? Isn't it, man? Aren't you supposed to just wear it in the synagogue, or you wear it like? I mean, of course, there's people who are like Orthodox Jews that wear it all the time, but I don't like none of my like Jewish friends. Bro, have you ever pronounced? Huh? Have you ever actually done that as a Jew? Have you? Huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I just did it on stream. You didn't hear it just now? <laughs> no, I, yeah. I'm just. Yeah, I grew up in Beverly Hills. There's fucking Jewish people everywhere there. Um, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um. Bro, is it considered do. like sinful if uh because you know sometimes I see like novelty yarmulkes with like Peter Griffin on them. Is that like frowned upon <laughs> in the more strict No Jewish bro community? that that mean that I would say that's actually uh that's that's based because then it's like <laughs> that's like not only it's like yeah I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wear my yarmulke but I'm gonna make it like this is this is personalized. I had a fucking Batman yarmulke when I was a kid. Fuck, I yeah, still absolutely. Have it somewhere at my parents' house, yeah. But, um, bro, yeah, someone dude. has to recreate the Yankee no brim. Oh my god! Oh, there fucking... is there is a Yankee yarmulke. I've seen that at the corner one time. But dude, one time, I was this is back when I was living in New York. I saw a guy with a Make America Great Again yarmulke. And I was like, Beast. I was like, dude, that had to be a custom job. Like, where the fuck did you get that? Oh, that, that fucking guy. guy. That guy's like the terror of his family. Every time he shows <laughs> up for a family event, so he good. cracks knuckles. He gets ready for this one. You know, it's funny. He kind of did look like like the Walmart brand Ben Shapiro also. Like, he was kind of small, hairless, like, Jewish twink kind of guy. It, uh, yeah, it's classic. conservative Jewish phrenology. It just turns you into a boy wife, genetically. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bro, if I can't have Abby Shapiro, because she's married, I, we gotta get Ben to transition. Someone's gotta get in his ear. <laughs> he's gotta start taking estrogen. I need it to happen. He, nah, he's been bulking up lately. Have you seen his, like, flexing live streams? Yeah, I've seen, have you seen his No, I just saw the... <laughs> I just saw the one where he posted like that. a photo in a cowboy hat and was like, my wife thinks I'm so sexy or whatever. And he looked like very twinkish. Uh, I, I unironically really like Ben Shapiro, like fully, because he's the only one of these conservative fucks 
who is a real personality. Or like the rest of them, like people like Dave Rubin or Matt Walsh, you're like watching like gray pedophile paint dry on a wall, you know? But Ben Shapiro is like authentically wacky. Like he like you can actually watch him live stream and act like a person. It's so it's a breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? Dude. Powerful. Well, I feel Ben Ben Shapiro was kind of beefing with Kanye for a second there too. It was like fleeting, but there was something. There was the girls were fighting on on my timeline for a second there. On oh, he he clapped back at him because I think Ben Shapiro donated to uh he donated to someone Kanye didn't Sarah, like. I already gave I totally uh, forget the story. It was it was um Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis mm. gave money to the Daily Wire. Apparently, the Daily Wire mm. has an email list that Ron DeSantis uses. It, really common stuff, like really normal, like politicians using like punditry. It's 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 like not a weird thing. But uh, uh, Ben Shapiro trashed Kanye and Trump for having Kanye over for dinner because Kanye has been so anti-Semitic. And Ben Shapiro, I don't know if you know this, but he's Jewish. Um, and um, wait, what? Yeah, I, really? yeah, no, I right, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I thought his hair was just like that. that. Crazy. And. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, and anyway, uh, uh, Kanye tweeted out like, wow, um, you know, Ben taking money from DeSantis then trashes DeSantis' opponent. And he basically did the fucking like duplicitous Jew bit at him. Literally like that. Wow. Oh, yeah, you took money, you know, which, which is insane. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty Dude, wild. I actually took Ben's side on that. Yeah, what would happen if Ben Shapiro turned out to be like the Rachel Dolezal of Jewish people, and he was it was actually like <laughs> oh, if he was faking, time, dude, like, God, no, that would be real. so good. Fuck. Oh, the well, then we get an OnlyFans from is him. Abby Shapiro. Wait, what? We get an OnlyFans from him after. Uh, Dolezal has an OnlyFans. Oh, have you seen does? any of the pictures? I have not. I'm like way too scared. I have. I, I, I have, that. because it was on my Twitter timeline. Like somebody, like, it was like the blurred image that was like like tap click here to see i was like okay let me see it and i was like all right i've what's the rating seen good enough. bad awful terrible <laughs> it's just not she does not need an only fan she has to how much are you struggling lady that you like there's no way people are paying for that shit there's no way that seems like the kind of advice when people have managers and they lose fame that everyone seems to be like the best you got to make it only fans you can totally like not fumble this you I feel like it make never goes well a lot of money off that it's just everyone will make fun of you through it like like you'll like we're like um oh who would even pay for that well a lot of people would at least as a joke and you know well like, yeah doesn't uh that fat dude have one nicado avocado yeah oh yeah but yeah that's he does the only one that's the only worthwhile one like that that's, dude i'm that's so sick of seeing fans his asshole in like memes with like a cat coming out of it or whatever and like all the edits it's like dude please god horrendous we need Ugh. to get that guy on podcast has anybody spoken to him like does he do podcast appearances what is the fucking nick Cato avocado yeah nick Cato. do you avocado. want to be the guys talking to him when he dies actually dude, wait that'd yeah. be huge clout Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh dude, dude we do like, a bedside stream fascinating to me yeah, dude, he used dude. to be so thin and like Wait. uh I don't know if he was like a prolific violin player, but he used to be like pretty good at violin. Yeah, I don't some yeah, people dude. say that what he's done is just for money, but I, I it's gotta be like at least a lot mental illness stuff, right? Well dude, he did he did a stream where he said that where like yeah. people make fun of me, but you don't realize like me pretending to be dumb, like I'm making millions, baby. Yeah, that's the feeling I get from uh, him. I, feel I think like he is I, I think he's like, I think he's ill, but he's cogent enough to understand how to milk his illness for the grift. But I still mm -hmm. think he's unwell. Like, I, I think he's, he's, he has it enough together to know the right way to monetize the actual downhill mental spiral. He kind of has made little statements on his thing where he's just like looking right at the camera. You know, when people are like YouTubers are like looking at the camera and the ring light, you can like see it in their eyes. It's in like and you're just like oh, jesus christ like we're staring into your soul and he's like look what you guys made me do this is like this is all for you this is all a social experiment and i'm like what the fuck is going on right now dude like i that I, I don't think i don't think that is really true like yeah he probably is doing it for money but it's absolutely mental illness like bro, this is this is just like the hitler thing it's stop. a bit it's a bit 100 percent, bro <laughs> It's just it's a bit. The, just drawing it's my a bit, drawing out but... my thesis on the uh, Nikocado Avocado re Hitler discussion. Um, <laughs> in res in response, 
No, I, I totally, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I, I, he's, it reminds me, oh, um, Onision, remember? He, oh, yes, dude, that guy. I was watching a documentary on him last night. Really? Wait, what? Onion. Wait, who is that? Who? June the King or whatever. The he, he was this, like, weird, imagine Sean, Shane Dawson, but his Wario version. <laughs> it's like the evil, he's very, like, evil. It's Waluigi for Yes, yeah. Uh, he wow. ba basically An Anision was like uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, really um, fucking weird and creepy and said some pedo shit or whatever. And he went offline for a while and then he tried to come back by like doing this performative theater bit where he'll like do his mental breakdown, but for the clicks. Like he he'd post YouTube videos and pretend to have a mental breakdown, but he also seems to be legit crazy because he showed up to some like court hearings with a bulletproof vest because he was convinced yes. his haters were going to yeah, take him yeah. out. Yeah. What? Well, he, dude, he's done that before because the documentary I was watching last night, uh, ever since he started going to like VidCon events, he's like showed up in bulletproof vests. He's like convinced someone's like trying to kill him or something. Hmm. Very strange. Well, hey, can we circle this around? Is he is he Jewish? Jeez. Maybe someone is. Probably. She's probably Jewish, I bet. No. <laughs> yeah, be, uh, uh, um, yeah, does your Wait, buy guns advice apply to Anision as well? Right yeah, dude, hopefully this isn't, uh, oh, is he, wait, this isn't is my Jewish? bad. Sorry, my internet was like fucking up through that whole thing. No, we, thing. Were, we were pontificating okay, wait, let me look it up. if he was Jewish. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think he is. Yeah, self-defense for Anision, even? Let me see, Onision Jewish. Uh... Nah, he he can be like the um. Let's see. It says American YouTuber. Let's find out if he, if he's Jewish. You don't claim him. He needs a gun. <laughs> I don't claim him. Let me see here. Um. Yeah, he did some weird. I think he did some night, actual grooming. Life. I think like with actual. Dude, that's humans. that's what I was gonna say. No, I'm pretty dude, sure dude, he was like no, dating an underage chick or something. Yeah, it was not iconic. Yeah, no, dude. He he is a Seventh Day Adventist. What? Or he was when he was. Yeah, I don't think oh. he is now, but dude, does it say uh, anything uh, about him making his own religion? Because I'm pretty sure he like created his own religion. Wait, he? What? Yeah, it, it's very Onisianism? strange. It's very weird. I don't know if it was called that, but uh, that does sound never heard pretty banger. He made, he was a Seventh Day Adventist. Oh my fucking god! That's like a devastating blow against that religion. What, it, dude? For, I'm low IQ. Uh, what is that? I, I oh. don't know any. <laughs> Oh, it's it aren't th these are one of the more like doomsday death culty of the 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 Protestant groups, right? Oh, that's classic. I could, I, I, that's what I think. Let me check. Hold on, Seventh Day Adventist. I love those types of Christians. That's like way more exciting because if you go to church at like a regular church, it's really not that exciting. But I would go to a church that was just like, he is gonna come down and he's gonna smite you where you stay. <laughs> like I would be sitting there like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I went to um. A baptism for the first time actually like a month ago it was oh, uh, my girlfriend's nephew who is just he's a little baby and he just got baptized and i was sitting there with like her whole family and the guy who was doing the i guess what is he a priest priest there catholic was... yeah priest okay i'm learning some Father, really not good catholic, stuff about yeah. seventh day but he was like um... adventists right now oh are you I kind of want to hear it. 20... Basically, the, the the long and short of my story was that I could tell the guy knew I was Jewish because, like, he was, like, doing his whole, like, speech. And then if he brought something up that was related to Jews, he kind of, like, turned to me <laughs> and then would, like, continue his thing. And I was like, you know, what the he wasn't smack talking or no, anything. no, he was just, he wasn't smack talking. He was just saying shit that he was like, he said something about how, like. Jews won't say the name of God, but Catholics will, which is like Yahweh or something like that. Yeah, aren't you but guys Jews... supposed to write the little asterisk? Yeah, I guess it's spot? true. We do write. But he was like, Jews don't say the name. They say this other word. And he said something that I had never like, Zaboomafu. And I was like, and I was sitting there Zaboom. and I was like, Baphomet. I was like, yeah. I, yeah, no, I was like that. I wasn't going to correct the guy in the middle of a <laughs> baptism, but I was like, Dude, I'm Jewish. I've never heard of that. In my the life. Jewish God, El Diablo. Anyway, tell me, tell me about <laughs> Seventh Day Ad Adventists. What's uh, the deal there? It's just they had more people than I thought. Twenty-one million baptized members, and they um, were flat. Yeah, and they um, they own, they control. I think con eight thousand um, educational institutions, six thousand primary schools, and two thousand secondary schools. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's more than I thought. Yeesh. Yeah, I, I'd never even fucking heard of them. 
Yeah, they're um, just one of the screamier. They're not as bad as Jehovah's Witnesses. I have Jehovah's Witnesses family. Um, I, I do dude, have. Dude, I've met. Really. Uh, they get a lot of shit, but I've never met like. Uh, well, I'm not gonna go out there and say a bad Jehovah's Witness, but all they really do is just show up at your door. I feel like they get a little too much hate. I you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think it's more how they are like behind closed doors, their kids and stuff. You know? I think it's that if you, I think you just get like excommunicated if you leave the church, which is usually not. It's not very nice. But I had a, I had a boss like at an old job who was like super chill, really funny. Just like cool, like the type of type of boss that like if she was the manager that was working that day, I was like, oh hell yeah. And then one of my coworkers, like a few months in, was like, oh, did you know that she's Jehovah's Witness? And I was like, what? I thought they were like all. I thought they had to wear like you know suits and ties and helmets and shit. I think right. that's just when they're on their giant their pope missions. Hats. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, no, but I don't know. See, what the fuck do I know? There's cool people and uh, a lot of yeah, it's it's ones. mostly it's mostly the the whole like no contact excommunication thing because it's like they'll excommunicate you over a lot of shit. Like obviously like gay or trans, but even like if you're too socially liberal in a lot of other ways, you know, like too permissive. And it, when they cut you off, it's like a hard-line, church-wide thing, so you can't see your family anymore, they cut you off from your community contacts. And in neighborhoods that have a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, it's basically like being exiled. Um, yeah, I think the, the Mormons yeah. do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the Scientology thing, too. The, sci the whole Scientology thing is that if you leave, you're basically like committing social suicide, because all of your friends were Scientologists. And then you leave, and it's like you are dead to us. Like we were not. Yeah, I forget the term, but you become like a. I think it's like problematic essence. Oh, you're yeah, you're or um, something. You're, you're a corrupting a force. Yeah, I think it's a suppressive. Suppressive. Person. Yes. Suppressive. SP. Yeah, yeah. You're an SP. Yeah, dude. I I went on a fucking Scientology rabbit hole. I walked into a Church of Scientology, like, uh, like a, one of the places where you sign up. And it was a really weird experience. Did I ever tell that story? No. Wait. Just, where do you like, where do you live? Like, broadly. Well, this was in New York. There is a big church of Scientology in South Florida as well, but that's not the one that I went into. There's, like, a... I don't know what it's called, but it was just, like, a little... Uh, it was a place on the... If anybody's in New York and you're listening, you, too, can go there. It's a very strange <laughs> site, but it is... It's on, like, the Upper East Side of New York when you're... It was, like, right before you reach Central Park, and I was walking past it, and I was with one of my buddies, and... I had already been watching documentaries about Scientology, like Going Clear and Louis Thoreau had a documentary about Scientology that was crazy, and I was just doing all this crazy reading. And we happened to be walking past this little, it was very like, uh, what's the word, unassuming like building, and it, but it just said like Church of Scientology, and the doors were open, and I was like, what? Hmm. Let me walk in here. I was like, yo, yo, come in here with me. And he was like freaked out, and we went in there, and it just looked like a little doctor's office waiting room and there was one yeah. lady behind a desk and one guy in like a suit and tie sitting in the waiting room and um and they both stood up like immediately when i walked in and they were like hello how are you like welcome in what brings you in and i was like oh i just heard about you guys and i was wondering if there was any like reading material that i could like take home with me because that's what I, I wanted them to give me something that was like do you want to know how to have telekinesis like you know what i mean Someone's like saying, i wanted yeah, something do like doctrinal that. shit yeah yeah and but she was making me work for it she was like sure 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 why don't you like fill out she handed me this clipboard and she was like why don't you just give us a little bit of information and like we can properly guide you in the blah 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 i was like okay cool and so i was while i'm filling out this clipboard which is asking me like where did you hear about us and all this crap i'm giving like a fake name and shit while i'm sitting there writing and my friend is sitting there nervously somebody else like these young people were walking past the outside and they were like where do I go to get brainwashed? Like they called that from the outside. And the guy in the suit that was sitting there was like at your mama's house, like shouted back at them. And I was like sitting there, me and my buddy were just like, but I was like, we were talking about it after that. I was like, was that planned? Like, did they do that on purpose? It was very Carefully strange. crafted. And then, yeah, it was very crafted. And then I handed her back the clipboard and it was really cold at the time that I went. So I was like, do you mind if I use your bathroom? I just need a tissue. And she was like, sure, sure, sure. It's right down the hall. And I went back in there, blew my nose. My friend told me when we left that when I went back there, she said to the guy, she was like, prepare the video. And like he went into the other room and I came back out and she was like, 
and I was, I was like, okay, well, we got to get going. And she was like, oh, like, j just stay a little bit longer. There's just like one other thing we want to show you. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll come back like with my friend late. You know, or I'll come back without my friend later. I don't want to like hold him up. And she gave me some pamphlets and I walked out of there. And when we walked out, my friend was like, he was like, like, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Because it was weird vibes. And, but I was like, when we left, there was like two or three groups of people also walking in the same direction, like around us on the sidewalk. And I was like, yo, yo, chill. Just like, don't like chill. Because I wanted to be a few blocks away before we started talking shit. Because that's the type of shit that they do. They like put moles like on the outside to like listen to you or stalk you. Dude, Scientology is fucking crazy no they Never fully do that's again, that's a they're real crazy people yeah they infiltrated the cia um they were they're like yeah, a, operation uh paperclip i think not paperclip um that was yeah, the nazis Nazi, in world war ii thing. Right? Thing. there's a yeah. different operation that's uh yeah. dude we literally have a minute 50 seconds left on this segment but i am going to piss myself so I'll, <laughs> okay, i will be I right fucking back forgot about that god bless yeah that's all right it was a good time how much is a zoom subscription call or uh, fucking how much is oh, that? Oh, Operation Snow White is what it was called. Snow White. Yeah. It's funny. We actually just had somebody send us an email today that was like, yo, I love you guys. Like, I know you don't have the full version of Zoom. You can use my account. Like, I'll give you the login and you can just use my, like, Zoom account. I hardly use it, which is really nice. That is really it's nice. Like, it's such a scrappy really underdog nice. vibe. But we actually do kind of, at least... Well, I'll speak for myself. I kind of like that it like breaks it up a little bit because then we break it up and it's like, we'll be right back. And then we like, you know, Zach gets to smoke a cigarette or pee and then we like. Yeah, it's, it's a forced intermission, um, a natural ad break. You know, 50 minutes okay. isn't an obnoxiously short length of time. Yeah, exactly. Are, um, are you drinking tonight or is it just me? Am no, it's too, it's too early. I thought we'd be doing this later, but I can't get oh. drunk this early. I've got work to do later. Oh, okay, I feel that. It, last last time was fun. We were all getting like lit crazy. Good yeah, I have to be. I have to be careful considering how fucking easily I get drunk. I <laughs> that was that, fun. Yeah, the last time that I got drunk, um, I just I fell asleep drunk and then woke up drunk the next morning and just <laughs> kept. Yeah, so I got I got, I got to be careful with my limited faculties here. Um, That's all right. Yeah. Um, just in time to hear Harris close with a joke. Oh, here's a Harris hit joke for you. Okay, so Nick Fuentes walks into a bar, based, and he orders a hot sake. And the bartender looks at him and says, "Uh, ask me." Howdy! Mr. Vosh. Howdy, howdy. Powerful. Dude, where's, uh, is your cat's name Pigeon? Two cats. Pigeon's the hairless one. Artemy is the haired one. I just care about the hairless one, baby. She is He's wonderful. He's my sweetie boy. Oh, it's a she. Yes, a, a, just a, a wrinkly, scrungly little girl. We love Vosh her Vosh likes much. his, uh, his push shaved. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at least half of them. Um, she's disgusting. We love her. Bro, is it true? I always heard uh, people say if you have Sphinx cats, they get, like, very smelly. They smell... Pigeon smells a little bit like um, dirt. Like dirt. Like outside dirt. Which isn't really mm. a bad smell. But apart from that, no. They have um, more oily skin than cats, but you never feel cat skin, of course, so that doesn't... Talking even... about Filipinos? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they're cats. Just kidding. Do you have to give her, uh, <laughs> like, special baths? Um, sometimes... Wait, here, wait. I've got her now. Oh, oh. Oh my Based. gosh. Wait, there we go. Based. Pigeon. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you gotta bathe oh them now and again, God. but it's just like a light little bath with some, like, soap. They're not... It's honest to God, they're not, like, actually disgusting. She just looks like a goblin, so it's fun to say. She literally <laughs> looks like a chicken, dude. Chicken. She's so Ooh. cute. Here, wait. A little... She... Pigeon, stop oh. screaming. She just made a little noise. Dude, I already know that <laughs> just based on how... Oh, oh bro, <laughs> Mr. Pirate. Nice. We love her. Dude, I'm hoping there was footage of the cat, but I just know based on our Zoom luck, it's literally just going to be a zoomed in <laughs> picture of me it's or Harry's head, like, dude. Really 
Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can always recover Bro. it from my uh, from my VOD. Oh, I full screen for it. Um, oh, powerful! Yeah, powerful. Keep the uh, keep oh, the yeah. lines of communication open. Bro, Bro. cutting in on the uh, the cold cuts cloud, baby. Posting the episode. Yeah, honestly, oh. um, I uh, I'm 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 getting the uh, the early dig there. Everyone's rushing over. Um, how was your uh, smoke break? Extremely powerful. I'm so <laughs> ready for the next one. Nice. So, I'm enjoying so it. So ready, dude. Well, I had a uh, smoker. Are you the is Zach the only smoker here? I don't smoke. I don't. Smoke bro, you got to step it up, bro. You got to get on the smoking grind. I'm high on life. Um, no. No. That's, yeah, that's right. Dude, well, nicotine's I'm fresh, cigarettes. bro. Yeah, I'm talking about nicotine. Dude, even uh, even if I quit smoking cigs, I'm definitely gonna get the uh, the gum or whatever. Nicotine is just too powerful. You could always be a giant cunt and vape. No, no, no. Dude, Daphne <laughs> left me a vape before she moved, and I'm just like, I was gonna try it, but uh, ah, as an insult. Yeah, is it exactly? Is it, like a, is it a flavored one? Like that's the thing, dude. Is she bought it when it was like I don't know if it's still banned, but they kind of. I don't. Didn't they get rid of flavors? Because I swear I still people see, still see people buy them. No, you can still definitely get flavors. Okay. I mean, well, yeah. anyway, some something. certain flavors. She got the basic Virginia tobacco flavor, so I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'll hold up for now. Interesting. Maybe yeah. if you run out of cigarettes or something like that, or it's like an apocalypse situation. Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. Uh, Dude, I had two things I want to bring up. I'll just bring up the first one now because this is old news. Mm -hmm. Um, but Vosh, I saw you reacting to. Uh -oh. Do you remember? <laughs> don't hey, don't worry. No horses. No horses are involved. I saw you reacting to Sam Hyde's call out. And I think this literally happened last time we filmed, so this is like very old news. But you remember when he was like, "Son Piker, I'm going to kill you." Oh, he's the Candyman. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. I am I correct that you said during one of your streams that you thought that that joke was too far? It's it's not because like there's no way Sam Hyde's actually going to go and do it. It's more like um, he's he's got like a psychotic audience and. When when you run jokes like that, I do think it's a joke. But when you run jokes like that, it kind of like does the irony poison thing of it makes it impossible to know whether anything would actually be like real in the future, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's okay. It, it's All it's right. like a well, why are you scared, white boy kind of thing, you know? But eventually, like you you, you know, it, it gets it gets more and more real. I guess that's the potential. He's got so some you, crazy fans. You don't think he shouldn't have made the joke? Oh, I don't, I mean, I don't think he should be like a neo-Nazi with a bunch of crazy fans. That's the main issue. I don't think I'd mind the joke if it wasn't for that. It's kind of like the, the, the circumstances surrounding it. Um, cause Dude, I, I've I, made uh... jokes about aiming artillery at Hassan's house before, so it's not, he's not the only Based. one. Here we go. <laughs> Based. Dude, there's something to me that's so fitting though, and, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little tipsy right now, so I may not be able to describe this in words, Let's but go. when you based when you go down that like super irony poison route where you kind of collect that type of audience and that's who you surround yourself with um bro see i lost my train of thought oh <laughs> Man, here we go fast. here we go you're like yeah, in a wait, prison. You, got, you got like five words in <laughs> there you go dude I, it, it i was about to like drop some crazy knowledge yeah but i'm like huh but you forgot it you kind of like you're almost like putting yourself into a prison because then it's like yeah, your audience just sucks to an extent, and then they almost like tarnish your legacy a little bit. If that makes sense, like you could be a very like, like Sam Hyde. I don't, I, I don't know if he's like. I think most of his shit's joking, but because he has that type of audience, it's like much harder. I feel like it gets harder and harder to feel okay with some of that stuff. If that makes sense. I just, I wish it was in its place, you know, because I feel like there used to be. A, a great respect for sincerity as as like um even through comedy right like george carlin you know um like a lot of, a lot of the respect carlin gets isn't just very he... reddit very reddit oh very reddit sure very very soy pill <laughs> but he would he would sit there and he would you know he would um <laughs> he would he would give you the look and he would say what he actually believed to an extent like dave Chappelle's respected for this as well even if i disagree with a lot of the stuff he says dave Chappelle will, will sit there and tell you how he fucking feels um and I like that, and I feel like there's a less and less. Um, it's basically that. That's what happens with the. Yeah. The there's Asian less respect comedian. for just it's like basically like being forward. It's like. 
Yeah. I don't know where I stand yeah. on that. No, I, sorry, I, I, I get what you you're off, saying. But, uh... I do think there is an important, not an importance, but there is a type of comedy where you can be sincere and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like it's so easy to go too far. Like there's a, uh, I don't know if Harris dislikes him as much as I do, but are you familiar with the Blobby comics? Blobby com the little pink blob? It's, yes. Yeah, yeah. The Blobfish. Okay. I, I extremely hate like this person because yeah. I drew Obama bin Blobfish and I'm pretty sure they sent their audience to get it taken off Instagram. It was a beautiful drawing. It was a beautiful <laughs> drawing. Yeah. But when you, when you get, say, yeah, it's not as bad, I think, as other types of comedy, but when you go down that route, I feel like instead of punchlines, you're just like trying to make a point or like, look at how smart I am. I feel this way. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like sincerity is not always the best way to go, if but that makes sense. But those aren't necessarily antagonistic forces, right? Like you can you can be fully sincere, but not be um like like patronizing or um what's the term like preachy about it, right? That's true. Yeah, there's got to be a line. To I, hit I in believe the I don't believe they're I don't believe they're antagonistic in the way we're talking about, but I am offended by the shit that Blobby and Friends puts out. For a different reason, I do believe that they're they're antagonistic to like the development of like art and like creating like they're they're antagonistic to the world of comedy and like comics and shit like that. Like that to me is like they're they're I'm more I wouldn't say fearful, but I'm more like artists right now on Twitter are trying to make AI art the enemy, and I understand that, but. Have you guys seen AI art? It actually, the thing that unifies all of AI art is that it kind of looks like shit. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like, like, the, I can tell when something is AI because there's a vague, yeah, I think like, you're shittiness. Right. What's that? Oh, I'm, I'm oh. here to trash AI art for any length of time. I fucking hate AI art. Um, I am, um, Dude, I, a lot radicalized. of bad, but you got to admit, some of the porn AI art. What's that? It's just as good <laughs> as, like, like, the porn drug. Someone did, like, an Abby Shapiro like, one. Jesus Christ. And it Christ. was just like, bro. But framing, like, let the computers take over. Framing all politics in the framework of, like, <laughs> how close does this get me to those milkers, you know? Exactly. Um, Dude, I'm convinced yeah, exactly. we wouldn't be dealing uh, with any of this Hitler stuff. You know that, that famous thing, like, if you could go back in time, would you kill Hitler? That, like, thought scenario. I've heard it once or twice, yeah. 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 All we no one has to do that. Someone this, just has to go back in time and go, bro. This chick's Jewish, and show him Abby Shapiro. None of this shit would have happened, bro. Like, People would be so much more tolerant. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you, tell you, I tell you what they actually would have done. There were a couple of times the Nazis actually, um, they had war heroes with Jewish ancestry, and they would <laughs> elevate them. They would de-Jewify them. I think they just declare Abby Shapiro not a Jew. I think they'd just be like, ah, well, Milker's that good could only belong. On? To, to members of the master race. So actually, you know, and that'd be it. That, that's, that could be yeah, what happens. I, but, uh, uh, I mean, if I, if I went back in time and killed Hitler, it would be like one of those like sci-fi movies where all of a sudden I start fading away. I'm like, hey, what have I done? <laughs> I'm Hitler? My, my, yeah. my family actually, <laughs> like, my, my, my family left Germany they, <laughs> like in, because the shit was getting kind of, uh, a little rocky. Things were getting a little rocky. You know, they didn't just start throwing Jews in concentration camps immediately. There was like a few years where there were, you know, some policies being enacted and then Jews living in ghettos and then they started shipping them out on the train. So, well, wasn't like, that one of the arguments? I think, I think that my... What's that? That, because I'm... Maybe I'm just making this up in my head because I'm <laughs> tipsy, but I swear there was something where it was like we we told jews they could if they left all their money they could leave unharmed and a bunch of them stayed just so they could have their money or whatever oh like, that, didn't yeah, they... that was one of the propaganda points but in reality exactly, a lot of other yeah. countries wouldn't take that's the not... jewish refugees yeah but also if you had to yeah, leave no, that, and leave none of your money like i don't think even if you weren't jewish like if you told me i and this is coming well, you from someone die. who doesn't have money yeah, but it's like, what, dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do with no money and move somewhere I, I don't know? Like, fuck I just, that. I was just always, I've always, I've always thought it was a strange thing that it's like, you know, Jews, they love money. And it's like, ah, yes, what a unique feature to a group of people. <laughs> Jews are the only people I can think of that care about money. There's no other race on the planet Earth that 
loves money. These are literally the same money, people. Loves a good deal. Who or, post it's like <laughs> Christian Bale, um, Patrick Bateman, Sigma grind set shit. Like, yeah, I'm on my crypto grind. Nothing else matters. Oh, hey, by the way, Jews only care about money. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Jesus Christ! I've been in Jewish communities. Yeah, they care about we, lots we, of stuff more than money. They care about bagels. Um, they care about uh, uh, comedy. Um, <laughs> I don't fucking yeah. know. They, they, they like <laughs> shit. You just like crypto. Dude, I already know, because uh, yeah, this happened last time, Harris, where you were talking good about the Jews that I got a, a couple DMs. That were I know, like, you got a DM. I said, I, I, like, I, it's funny because it's like, I think it's actually in the nature of Jewish people, and I didn't get this gene, but it's in the nature of Jewish people to be like, hey, you know, they're kind of right. Like, we really do do that stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, like. John Stewart did is, that. Yeah. It's just like, I do, like, like. On a comedy level, yeah, that's funny. But on another level, it's like when I see this Kanye shit and I see people sincerely gunning for the Jews, that then it's like, get, any Jews listening, get a gun, get a gun, guys. It's like they don't. Yeah, yeah. in in my well, yeah, you know, Minecraft. I, I'm I'm uh, just saying, yeah, <laughs> in Minecraft, in Minecraft, just you know, the, if somebody knocks on your doors and they're wearing the full Yeezy Donda set, just <laughs> make sure you know you you want to have. You want to have the aluminum bat sitting next to you. You hear the graduation bedside. track playing menacingly from the outside street. <laughs> yeah, a car pulls up outside your house. Gradu a, a massive a pair of rubber boots hit the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you reach for your like, gun. Um, no, yeah, I, 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 I know. a lot I love of people, the, the subtitles that say like Donda plays menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a lot of people Sorry, don't really think? get where it all leads, right? <laughs> it's like it's not just end of history shit because there were a lot of Jews who wouldn't leave Germany back in the 30s too, because um, it was like, oh, well, that won't really happen, right? You know, like because because it's really fucking freaky to think about, like anything really bad happening. People don't like to consider that. People people you know enjoy like the illusion of stability in their lives. So, you know, it, it can be hard mm -hmm. to get people to, to, like, take that seriously. So you might have people like John Stewart or if it's like, oh, yeah, ah, uh, control the world. Yeah, we do that. Ah, uh, we do love money, whatever. Cause I grew up with a bunch of Jewish kids, and um, they would always make jokes about, like, penny-pinching and shit. And, like, it's funny when they're doing it, you know? But obviously, like, when Kanye is mm -hmm. currently laying out his, like, 39-step plan to r eradicating the, the Semite menace, that's not a great time to chime in with, um with your comedy routine on, on, on like, self-deprecation, you know? Well, dude, what's weird about no, him yeah, is because no, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are trying to say that, like, he's making good points, he's just not phrasing it correctly, but uh, who's that moron where he walked off his podcast, the beanie guy? Oh, Tim Pool. Tim Pool. Tim Pool. When <laughs> Tim Pool brought up the very reasonable point of, like, you know, there's, just because there's a group of, like, jewish people who are like tops and like the music industry and they're fucking with you that doesn't mean all jewish people are doing that it was like he he couldn't like handle that thought which is like so strange to me i re i really don't get like blaming it's very weird it's a very weird scenario is it you know what here's a little scandalous take let me hear both your your uh your opinions on this oh. is it fair to say oh that in the entertainment industry there's a lot of Jewish people that are higher up. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, there's actually an interesting uh, historical reason for it. I'd like to hear what you believe Enlighten the historical me. reason is, Vosh. Yeah, oh, well, early camera technology was really expensive and highly proprietary, and a lot of it went through um, Thomas Edison. And Thomas Edison was an anti-Semite. A lot of people wanted to get their hands on camera tech, and back then it was relatively primitive. So you Wait could... a minute. Didn't you just say he wasn't anti-Semitic? Am I confusing him with someone? Alexander Graham Bell, I'm retarded. Please well, continue. Maybe Bosch. he would have been, you know. I don't. <laughs> My bad. Um, but uh, I, th I think they knew each other at some point. Anyway, anyway, Thomas Edison. Th it was easy to iterate on tech back then because they were basically banging rocks together. Um, and Thomas Edison was really selective about who he would sue for copyright infringement or patent infringement. Um, you know, a mm -hmm. group of white boys want to go on and make a film. Oh, go for it, you know. But when some Jews in New York. Um, wanted to take, you know, some some uh, liberties with that technology, the lawsuits came rolling out. And back in those days, a really good way to avoid getting sued was to flee, because you can't really track someone over to the West Coast for a lawsuit. You'd have to physically send, mm -hmm. like, you'd have to send people over. It, it'd be a process. So a lot of Jews, Irish, and black people ended up fleeing over to the West Coast. And the, the start of Hollywood was in part because of this, like, early 
like fleeing from from Edison's like preferential lawsuits, you know. So you're saying so they kind of like founded Hollywood? Like they were they were around for Hollywood's construction and they had like an initial jump because they fled over there with some of the newer tech. And Hollywood's a great place to film shit because it doesn't rain and um, the days are long, the weather's really good, um, and it's generally quite beautiful over there, you know? So it, it was just circumstances aligned, you know? Before I continue my point, Harris, what's your take? Sorry, my internet was fucking up during that last section. I, I like I was hearing like brief moments. I was I heard Vosh's explanation, but not the debriefing after it. But uh yeah, I think there's probably some validity to that. I, I said on a podcast something that I would prefer not to reiterate in front of your whole audience because it's a little bit of a hot take, but I was talking about like also some historical stuff about why Jews just it's not a coincidence that Jews happen to be like business savvy and clever like there is you said because you were a more intelligent race and everyone <laughs> no, else's like, cockroaches that's not that's not it that's not what i okay. said the okay. real reason what I said. jews have been doing bugs bunny shit for like a thousand years now we're like the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> like like the fucking local constable or lord or something decides the, the crop harvest was bad because a jewish family moved in next door and they, they have to like they have to like paint a black hole on a wall then run through it to get the Literally. other guy to run into the rock you know I mean, if they're gonna do Bugs Bunny shit, they should do that Marilyn Monroe cross-dressing. Oh, oh, maybe that's what I prefer. Yeah, yeah. The there there is a historical significance to uh, Jews have are historically literate because it's the only way that our culture could survive because we've been burned and murdered in every country that we've ever lived. So we have to write shit down. But I said something to that effect. Maybe took it a little bit of a step further on one of our podcasts, and that's why Zach. Got a message from somebody that was just like, like, oh, I can't believe that your Jewish co-host would say this shit, confirming all of my beliefs about why Jews are this <laughs> and that. Buddy, I just, by the way, if you're still listening to the podcast, if you're still a fan, despite the things that I said, kill yourself. In Minecraft. Based. In Minecraft. Based. But Gold just, Cuts crew, dox and kill him. Just Find like, who it is in Docs and Yeah, the Vosh like, channel does not endorse the, the heinous views of these um, ethnic minorities defending themselves. I don't themselves know. I'm, dude, there's a, few, <laughs> like, there's a few Voshites in the, the Cold Cut server. There I are. There's about quite it. a few. Yeah, I'm actually getting some messages on our on our Patreon Discord. Uh, they're just like, yo, what's going on? But uh, anyway, yeah. No, it's like, I almost feel like I never talk about like being jewish or any of that shit and all of a sudden it's in the last two months and i don't want to say it coincided with this but it does feel like it coincided with fucking elon musk buying twitter that all of a sudden i am seeing so much fucking anti-semitic shit online and it's like i never did i never did for years and years i'm 28 years old i never saw any of this shit and now all of a sudden it's like everywhere and all of a sudden i feel like i gotta come correct with like all these situations where i'm like Okay, here's another fucking. I've only been scrolling through Twitter for 20 minutes, and here's another fucking thread of people saying all kinds of crazy shit with a ton of fucking likes, and that's like just raw anti Semitic, like Nazi parroting. No, it's, 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 rhetoric. it's fully like everywhere now. Yeah, because they're, they're super fucking emboldened. The anti Semites love Elon Musk, and it's Dude. not exactly a hot take that like an Afrikaner apartheid billionaire would be racist or whatever. Like this isn't, you know, mind blown. No, that's fair. Yeah. But, um, but like past that, man, it's, it's actually wild how quickly it ramped up. I, cause I feel like we're kind of seeing the, the cork pop open on all the covert anti-Semitism Cause it's been like Soros, this globalism, that for years and years and years. And now it's like, oh, well, you know, we, now our guy owns the social media platform. We can just say it, you know, like we, we don't have to pretend anymore, which is, Crazy. Yeah. Vosh, I, uh, I, I hope saw, you join just... me in supporting oh, really? Harris by saying, what's next year, 2023? Yeah. Yeah. Next year, Vosh and me were only sleeping with Jewish women. <laughs> Just to show yeah. our support to you. The yes. year of the Jew. Oh, Absolutely. That's funny. Yeah. I'm not going to watch Borat once. Um, Dude, tell me, tell me why I'm a moron, okay? You two are both smarter than me. However... There's a lot of times I see people talk about, and we brought him up on the podcast before, so I, I want to bring this up, uh, George Soros. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing I see him being chastised for 
And it's weird because there's literally an interview where he talks about this, but I've seen a bunch of people say it's like fake or it's like anti-Semitic, but it's it's true or I'm remembering incorrectly that he literally worked under the Nazis and he was one of the guys who like they'd go to homes and you know take this jewelry take take this person's gold and he would literally do it and like help them out no no not at all it's a full-on like nazi conspiracy theory dude i i i swear to god i've seen an interview of him talking about it he was i'm not crazy he was um around 15 he was a jewish guy of course he fled to 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 budapest and he um he was taken in by uh one of those like what, he was taken in, I think, by a wealthy family who, like, nominally got along with the Nazis in the sense that, like, the Nazis wouldn't kill them. Like, it was, it was, a, it was a wealthy family that was sympathetic to the Jews and would take them in. So he was brought in as, like, um, uh, like, oh, we won't mention that you're Jewish, you know, you can be with us. But the family that he was with, they weren't Nazi collaborators. They just were on good enough terms that they weren't killed, uh, like a lot of their neighbors were. Are you, have you seen the interview I'm talking about? Um, I've seen him talk about it. I don't know if I've seen that interview exactly. Do I'm going to look it up after it this, was? bro, because I promise you, it was some sort of like CNN type interview, but he literally laid it out. And here's the thing, bro. I'm not like, that's fucked up. I mean, obviously it's fucked up if you do that, but that's one of those scenarios where it's like, you could either help them or probably be killed. So it's like, I'm, I'm sure like 90% I mean, of people would go the, along here, with it. Here's but. the actual bottom line is just like whether or not the aspects of the story are true. I, it's, it's crazy. I didn't really know anything about George Soros until uh, actually, Zach, I think you were the one that like told me about it. But it's like, here's the thing. Whatever happened, like he could be a despicable, horrible fucking human being. But can you imagine one of the worst like people of your race italian or what are you irish Vosh? <laughs> it's like the worst person that has existed from your race being like a political talking point for the right you would just be like dude get fucked i don't fucking like what you you're, you're asking me to like defend the actions of the entire of like my entire race because of the actions of like this one like yeah, a I mean, this person. Do you know what I mean? It comes back to what I was saying earlier, where it's like a group of people do something and then you hate all of them. Right. What, you know like, what, what are I mean? we talking about? Yeah, I don't yeah. understand how the one guy. It's like, do we hate all? Oh, I'm trying to think of like, who's like a terrible, who's like a terrible Italian man. Well, mm. the pro the thing is, it like it doesn't. Even, the fact <laughs> the fact that we're in a point politically where just saying here's one jewish guy who we don't like can serve as a dog whistle is already pretty wild on its own a normal healthy brain shouldn't be able to make that association right like well here's right. one guy who i think is bad you know oftentimes based on bad info so like that supports my broader theory that and then it's like like millions and millions of people that's not a normal thing to jump to under any other circumstances nobody would do that for like irish people like no, there'd be no like that'd be ridiculous right they like, used to Okay, they used, they used to, yeah, to. but that's yeah. the problem, right? It's like that's that's to. the level, that's the brain level they're at, you know? The, the... Here's the here's the problem though, and this is why I think it's growing in popularity, is the people with these opinions approach it with like twenty five percent of of truth. Like there is a kernel of truth in there. For instance, uh, let me get both your takes on this, specifically you, Harris, because you're you're part of the kind of Jewish community. Um, <laughs> choose, choose your next words very i am i am, I am. I'm just kidding. But you, I you care. know yeah. you know the the kind of um there's a lot of like people who are anti-semitic who their thing is like jewish people take over and then they try to like suppress everyone and then to me if you're looking at the kernel of truth in there this is just based on me talking to my jewish friends so again i'm very curious for your take on this harris but is it true if i said something where like jewish people have been persecuted and like fucked with for a long time and it's pushed them into a scenario where if you're jewish you you know if you see another jewish guy it's like oh you know we're jewish i want to help you out you know whether that's mm -hmm. like getting you a gig or something yeah. um to, yeah to me it's just it seems like it's born out of something like italy i mean with italian americans that's kind of like how the mafia found it where where it was like right they were you want to look out for your own exactly 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that a? Th- do you feel like that's a thing? You want to know what's funny? Like, I didn't even want to cut you off, but you know what's actually funny is like. Please cut Jew- me off. I'm no. Very it's tipsy. like Jews actually almost have the opposite problem, where like we there is so much infighting. <laughs> like, like, like I. I, somebody in somebody who's listening is gonna know what I'm talking about, but I just watched some short documentary about. It. It's like the last two Jews in Afghanistan or something. There, there's a country in the Middle East that's I not. Know this they were in. They yes. were in jail. You know, you know what I'm talking about? No, it's it's like it's two old Jewish men. They lived in the last synagogue. They literally were living in the last synagogue in I th- I think it was Afghanistan, but it was it was a Muslim country, like a, a, a an Islamic country. And they they were basically like living under hellfire because like it, it it was being bombarded and harassed and they were trying to destroy it and all this shit. But these two guys were holding it down. But the the, the funny part of the story is these two guys hated each other and couldn't wait for the other one to die. Like they like like the last two. So it's like it's, it's like, like, you said, like guys. Yeah, there probably is something where. Yeah, there probably is something. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, oh my god. Can you believe it? Jews are the only race that they look out for their own kind. That when they see another Jewish person, they're like, oh, I have something in common. It's the only race that does that. Irish people don't do that. Fucking black people Filip- don't do Filipinos. that. Latinos don't do that. Filipinos. Nobody does it. It's just it's just Jews. And it becomes a talking point because it's the we're apparently the only ones that do that. We're the only people. It's just like this is the type of shit that's so stupid about all these anti-Semitic talking. This is literally you this hit is, a fucking wall. This is the right? article. Last Afghani Jews kicked out it of is Taliban. Afghanistan. Yeah. Okay. Last Afghani Jews kicked out of Taliban prison for being too annoying. <laughs> I don't I don't talk to him. He's the devil, Zabilon Simentov said of the other Jew. A dog uh-huh. is better than him. I don't have many complaints <laughs> about the Taliban, but I have many complaints about him. So But that but that's classic. It's like, dude, you want to hear something funny? It's like, you know who's one of like the dude, most Dude, that's bo- a uh Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, am I on a delay? I can hear you both. No, no, you go, you go, bro. I've, I've oh, been cutting okay. you off. So polite. Night. I was gonna say it's like I love I love this guy because I think I think he's funny and I, it definitely speaks to like my Jewish sense. You're of talking humor, about but me. I think he's he's popular. Yeah, you. But also Larry David, I think is just oh, really hell, funny. Oh yeah, and right. I, I like Cur- Curb Your Enthusiasm is super funny. But you know what's so funny? I was watching episodes of that, and me and my brother were watching it, and we were trying to get my mom to watch it because we were like, Mom, you should watch the show. It's so funny. And she's like, I cannot fucking stand Larry David. And we were like, Why? And she's like. He's too Jewish. It like makes it's like annoying. Like I can't like it's like such a it's like but the, are both your parents full? Yeah, they're both full. My my dad They're both is fully an, Jewish. Okay. They're both my dad is an Ashkenazi Jew and my mom is a Sephardic Jew. God damn. So you guys want fucking pure lineage right there. Yeah, What's the racial lineage. stereotype with Sephardic? Because I know with Ashkenazi it's that they're like genius. Uh uh. Sephardic Jews are like the. What's your the, racial bonus? In, Sephardic in Jews are like the, They're like the brownish Jews, so it's pretty much anybody who's like Middle Eastern. But there's also Latin, like Sephardic Jews, like Spain and stuff. It's pretty much Ashkenazi is like white European, so like Polish, primate Russian stuff like that. Sephardic is uh, anything else. I think there's even like a third one that starts with an M. But yeah, those my my mom. My mom's dad, my grandfather, was uh, Iraqi, actually. He was born in Iraq. Dude, my parents worked in Iraq, and they always told me that growing up, but I thought it was kind of cool. And then I later found out they're like, oh, yeah, we we would uh, go to, like, parties sometimes with, like, Uday and, like, Saddam Hussein's two sons and stuff. And I was like, what? what? Absolutely. They have... They have the most celebs. badass merch. It's literally a baseball cap that Saddam made, and it's like just his face <laughs> on like the thing. And I'm like, dude, this is so fucking fresh. That's great. Oh yeah, I want what the Saddam hat. Saddam, baby. I want to. I want to speak to that that earlier point as well. Um, with with the like the kernel of truth thing, right? The speak, baby. The problem. By the way, I gotta say, I gotta interrupt, bro. I think I told you this last time. You look. You have lost so much weight, bro. Oh, oh you. Were you were Mister. You were Mister Chunky. You look even thinner, like since the last time we've we've spoken. Have you been yeah. working out? 
No, I, I can't. I have a persistent chest injury. I can't work out. I've just been dying. Persistent chest injury? Why? What happened? It fucking sucks. Oh, you don't yeah. have Barney Frank nipples where they're always protruding. No, they're in the right place and the right okay. size, I think. Um, but um, it's it's costochondritis. It's like an inflammation of the sternum and the ligaments around the ribcage. It keeps me from doing like basically anything cool. It fucking, it fucking what sucks. It, what is it? Genetic or are you like smoking too much? No, it's you can get it from like an injury. It's it's a minor condition, but it, it can take a while to go away because unlike a sprained ankle, you can't lean off your ribs. You have to breathe. Um, but I got it from a really bad cough that I had at the beginning of the year. So I've had it now for ten months. Fuck. Oh Jesus Christ, bro! Jeez, man. Yeah, I keep trying to get like a like a, a proper like uh, I want steroids injected directly into my heart. Um, oh, that's fun. But I'm uninsured, oh so it's been. Be an honest, annoying. you're uninsured. Yeah. Aren't, you, aren't you like super rich from your streaming? Yeah, but I don't like insurance. <laughs> I don't trust them. Bro, get what? Hey, Dude, you know who you runs those taxed? companies? Do Brother, oh. don't you get taxed? I got taxed last year because I was uninsured because of fucking Obama. Um. <laughs> wait, shit. Does that? Oh, wait. Fuck. Yeah, bro. You're. I'm pretty sure. You're wait, I might be losing taxed. money on. Unless wait, it's fuck. Just I forgot I'm in about that. California. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, is that a I think it's only $600, though, so I wouldn't... I'm sure you're making more than that. I'm sure uh, it's not fucking a Fucking Obama, deal. dude. It's always Obama. God. I know. Obama. Obama. God, dude, fuck. I fucking dude, forgot about to, that. Remind me to ask you about the Destiny Mr. Girl feud on the next... The next I don't know. I, I can't feet. add to it. Wait, <laughs> dude, wait. have you not been enjoying watching that? Because I feel like that's two people you dislike. This is just proof that I'm a scumbag. No, that's something I'm, where I was like, dude... Vosh is going to love this. I'm like the paranoid. They're both up. freaks. I, I halfway in my mind, I'm wondering, like, wait, are they faking this for my attention again? I don't know. It's I'm fucking. I'm, I'm like They're trying making, to bring you into their polycule, baby. Yeah, it's, I'm thinking like it's <laughs> yeah. it's like the teen dramas or something where they're like, okay, we'll fake this fight here, and that'll get Stacy to. No, I don't know. I hold on. Okay, Dude, the no, the point. You hold on. Before we get off your weight loss journey. Fuck. Oh yeah, I, you were making a point though. But before you get off your weight loss journey, we have six minutes. <laughs> Be honest. How much of a percent of the reason of you losing weight had to do with haters? Because I remember it was very popular two to three years ago to be like, look at this fat fuck. Well, yo, look at this fat fuck Vosh. You Damn. guys actually believe this shit he's saying? And to be fair, you had a very gay haircut at the time. It was incredibly <laughs> gay. Playing. I know you were trying to be like, I'm Nordic. I'm a Viking. No, no, was, for real. It's really like I, the wolf tail, like my ancestors, and I look like but, the fucking comic book guy. Here's yeah. the thing, bro. Though, if you grew that hair now that you're thinner, it would look good. <laughs> it just looked very silly because you were like you were like me. You were like a little hefty. You know what I'm saying? I feel well. First of all, you're beautiful. Second of all, um, oh baby, I just never did anything with the hair. Was the issue right? Like if I'd, I, I feel like I could have like I don't know done something with like a braid and it would have looked a little bit more Nordic. But it, it is difficult. Just any kind of ponytail slash fat guy mixture is a really tough sell, unless you're like Native <laughs> American or something, in which case they're fine. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna Do go pee so you can no, get your fuck, point. No, fuck, we're talking about anti-Semitism. Right, hit me, hit me, baby. Oh, hit me. No, there's not enough time. Okay, when we get back, when we get back. We have five minutes. We, we have five time. minutes, baby. Oh, you got I, it. I thought we had 40 seconds. I'm sorry. Run I, those no, wheels, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quick read the thing. I quick read. Um, no, okay. Oh, you know what? I'm interrupting again. <laughs> next, next segment. You need to have one drink, bro. You got to have one drink with us. Me and Harris are drinking. You got to join us. Yeah, yeah just, on, not dude. Moscato. Just, just uh, no, not Moscato. Make, I don't. What no, don't worry. I've got. I've got like a gallon jug of Absolute. I'll make a cocktail. Mm. Bro, how happy were you? Because I remember you were, dude. You were so fucking drunk. You were giggling like a little girl. That how happy great. were you to realize you didn't have a debate? Oh God, my God, that was I dude! I thought we fucked you. I was like, dude, <sighs> Bosh is I literally gonna look like a that. retard at this debate, bro. That was dude. a fucking blessing. Oh my God. Oh, Vermin's offering to make me a drink. Vermin, can you like, can you like one part, one part, one part, um, uh, 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 uh lemonade, cranberry, vodka, like, like a proper drink, like five fingers. And just the one. Okay. Yeah. Good. It would um, be so funny if your happened? second what roommate walked by the like super attractive uh, femboy. If they like walked by naked, that'd be so so based. You know what wait, I'm saying? Wait, wait, uh, guys. I will if you want. Run it. I'm like two I questions will... behind. Uh, wait, now, Vermin, because we're gonna be back soon. But no, no, stop. I'll oh, oh. Answer this. First of all, fucking yes. Um, <laughs> owning the haters. Is, was a fun part of weight loss, but that was only my inspiration for like one month. Um, honest to God, I, this sounds like the most cliche shit in the world. 
but after that, like, I enjoy- You did it for yourself? I enjoy eating so much more when I dial back how much I eat. Because if I can eat anything, I'll fill the fuck up on, like, shitty fucking pretzels or whatever. But when I wake up Dude. and think I have 2k calories, I put thought into those calories. It actually makes the food taste a lot better, too. Bro, this chip Hell just yeah. these oh, wow. peanut butter pretzels and I'm, like, dying, bro. Um... Peanut butter pretzels are fucking amazing. Let's you gotta go. be careful, though, because I still have no self-control. So there was, like, a month period where I would go through, like, an ungodly amount of Pez every day, because I love Pez. I fucking, Pez? fucking love Pez. I fucking I like Pez. love Pez. What are you, Pez. a gerbil? What are you, just eat <laughs> yeah, 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 and, and, and like, like <laughs> half of my daily 1,800 calories would be Pez. So I would get, like, one Jesus. meal, and then just Pez strewn out across the day like an I'm, animal. I'm debating whether to call you Reddit. I can't tell if Pez <laughs> is Reddit or not. No, this is Anytime autism. Anytime I buy Pez, I'm like, dude, this Pez dispensable dispenser will be worth thousands and then it's like i look back and it's like i bought a jar jar binks one from star wars and it's like oh my I, god no one wants no it. i i get them by the bag like um, i'm gonna let you finish your point because i i'm going to piss myself i'll yeah. be right back no, I'm, fuck, wait, I'm, gonna, I'm answering your question god damn it okay i'm talking about pez the anti-semitism <laughs> will be on your back um I, I would buy it by the bag, like five pound bag of Pez that you can just get off Amazon. Holy shit, I fucking love Pez so fucking much, dude. Holy shit. Dude, I, do, you, do you have like a cool Pez dispenser on hand? Like, do you have anything? No, I like, just eat that shit from the bag. I what? Just fucking oh, inhale. that's psychotic shit. Yeah, I that's love crazy. it. It's so fucking good. I need Are to get you also, like, like, do you also eat head. a cheese stick, like a cheese stick without peeling it? You just take, like, take a bite out of it? Yes. Do you also, do you eat Kit Kats without pulling them apart? Do you just eat a Kit Kat? Like, yes. Okay. Oh my god. I don't dude. like and people Kit listen Kats. to you for political opinions and you do all that shit. Do they know? <laughs> yeah, they know crazy. I'm autistic. They get me for my <laughs> media opinions. But yeah, if they, it's if, watching me eat, Berman can attest to this full on autism. You separate the, separate the, eat a shepherd's pie, separate the mashed potatoes from the beef, from the cheese, you know, <laughs> yeah. just brain yeah, damage, you know? Uh, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Zach when he comes back. But listen, I'm just gonna I'm just putting it out there. If you'd like, we got a minute left. I'm just uh, gonna say, uh, pour up a drink for yourself. But if you want, I will pour up a drink. But I will also come back with a shot. If you wanted to do a shot with me, chat would flip out, and Zach will do one too. Fuck, uh, Vermin, are you still listening? I need my. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting my hit. Wait, Conyers here. Kanye, relay this to Vermin, okay? Move one finger from the cocktail to the shot. Oh, let's go, baby. I'm coming back. We're getting crazy this time. All right, Godspeed. You don't, you don't have you don't have a debate to do or anything, right? Kanye says, "Nah, fuck off. I gotta go down and do it." Nah, nah, nah. I'm I'm done after the um after the cold cuts. Hold on, let me. Oh fuck yeah. Let me go so allocate go. the the liquid. Okay. I'll, okay, excellent. All right, I'll we'll see, you in, see you in a minute. All right. Oh, I came in on the end. Well, Zach, I'm going to tell you really quick. We're all going to do a shot when we come back. Are you going to get one, too? I only have seltzers. <laughs> are you I'll do a sh Hold on. Vermin is listening, idiot. Oh, okay. Howdy! Look who the Mr. Bosch, is. bro, I may have to get you. I'm low IQ. I don't know if I recorded the last <laughs> segment on my end. I might have to rip it from you. You are totally free to. Also, I'm pretty sure you yes. were. Uh, but you either were. way, you're free to. We'll take a look. Uh, I, think I hear you're uh, you're playing Doom. Are we not? No, no, not no, interesting no. enough for you. <laughs> no, we're talking about the Jews. Okay, hold on. Oh, is that, yeah, exactly. So as I was well, yeah, saying, Doom. Can we? Are we done talking about the Jews? Do we need to keep talking about the Jews? I is just I, there said? was one point I wanted to make ahead, like 50 ahead. minutes ago. Go ahead. The only ahead. the only point that I wanted to make. Was is that they're bad people. They always <laughs> talk about, like, well, there's a seed of truth, there's a seed of truth. The problem is, statistically speaking, no matter what your bias is against any group, there's always a seed of truth against literally all of them all the time. Um, what matters is the importance that it's given, right? So, like, for example, if you want to talk, like, if you want to talk about ethnographic bias, we have math on white people favoring themselves when it comes to, like, hiring. Nobody talks about that, right? <laughs> Um, outside of, like, the SJW types, you know? If you want to go over, like, any group of people, you can find something. The problem is, like, there's a nugget of truth. Well, you're not giving me a nugget, right? Like, you know, oh, well, you have to admit there's a nugget of truth to what Kanye is saying. Kanye's not saying a nugget, you know? Ka Kanye's not it, delivering one nuggy. What I'm hearing from Nuggy, what I'm hearing from Kanye doesn't even sound like they're like, oh, he is delivering some truth, but it's like, it sounds, 
I don't know. No, don't, he's not. He and saying? that's what the, is he saying? That's the sinister thing. He's not. He's not deliver. He's not giving like extrapolated versions of like simple, agreeable positions. He's just full on JQing, and they're all running up to defend him. They're all running up to go like, oh, 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 I know he said he loves Nazis. I know he said Jews did all this. But what he actually is saying is that there's a slightly higher than average percentage of Jews in Hollywood. So like, that's not, that's not wrong, huh? And it's like, okay, that's not what he's saying though. <laughs> he's not like, it'd be- or, Dude, I agree, but that's my, po the point I was trying to make is the reason that, like you just said, the thing people are saying is like, well, there are a, a disproportional amount of Jewish people in Hollywood. That's the reason I think it's like, so there's people who hear him talking and hear him go on Alex Jones and are like, yo, this is true. Because it's like there there is something there. But they're like I said, they, there's like a base. Deliberately looking for it is the thing. There are people who right. have like misconceptions that they get led in through, but then there are people who are looking for that justification, right? Like it would be like if you had some guy like blah blah, like IQ, race superiority, this, that, or whatever. And it's like, oh, 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 well, you can't deny that, like here's like IQ differences or whatever. But they don't want to talk about that because if you try to engage them in that, hey, so why are those IQ differences there? Like, let's look at education. Let's normalize for economics, you know? Oh, why are Jews there? Let's talk about, like, the history of Hollywood, you know? They don't want to talk about that. They want to use that nugget of truth as, like, a quick, intuitive starting point. They want to plant right. the yeah. nugget there and let the extrapolations, like, grow without any clarification. Because once you clarify them, you kind of put water on the fire, right? You, you, you kind of throw it out. Mm. Apparently Kanye just or, tweeted something that my chat why is... Why don't we forget oh. about the Nazis? No Wait, why don't we just forget about the Nazis for a second? Do you want to take a shot with me? Absolutely. Um, so, also, sir. he he uh, um, tweeted a picture of a swastika inside of a Jewish star. That's so deep. That's so wow. deep. That's so like, deep, dude. Uh, it, like, it's just so, like, scintillating. Like, everything that he does is just, like... <laughs> I'm so fucking... <laughs> like, how... I mean, how long are we going to be paying attention to this guy? The problem is that he has such a big platform at this point that he could just be, like, li like literally pooping his pants for the next six years, and people will still be like, yo, low-key Kanye spitting facts, though. Like, it's, like, it's just... It doesn't even fucking matter, and it's, like... Okay, I'm going to make a personal choice and say I don't give a fuck anymore about this. I don't think he's going to run for president. I think that all the people that are sharing support for him online, I think it's just online. I don't think people even fucking I I think people are too pussy to even do shit nowadays. If you're a Jew and you're listening, you should get a gun, but don't do anything <laughs> rash. Just... I mean, it doesn't uh, really anyway. matter with Kanye either way, because if this bipolar episode continues, like, escalating the way that it has for the past couple of years, he's eventually going to off himself. He's, like, actually I see. fully, un like, insane, that, you know? That is the logical, like, ending to all of this, which sounds extremely bleak, but it's just, like, I mean, he he's acting... They're going to say he, your people did it. He act, Of course. Of course they will. Of course they will. He act, like Like, jokes aside, they will. <laughs> That's the annoying thing, but it's, like... He, he's acting like he can exist without consequence, which I feel like is actually, that's like a suicidal thing. But you dude, know no, I, mean? I, I think the consequence aspect is what's pushing him further. Cause he's been like, at, at least I think he mentioned it on the Alex Jones thing, but like all his like bank accounts are currently frozen. No, he, he's, he's, no, he's lying about this. Um, is he, is that real? He, he lost his deal with Adidas. And um, there are some accounts that have been frozen because he, he he's um, indicted for a tax fraud. Apparently, he's in trouble because there are taxes going years back that he hasn't paid. And he's been saying it's like the Jewish IRS coming after him. Like, it, he he's he's fully having like an entire meltdown right now. Um, the IRS mm -hmm. does suck, but I'm not going to attribute that to... Uh, it's going to take money people. from anyone. Billionaires would be the first people I'd go after. Yeah. Wait, before... Dude, he, it sounds like he's fucked, not to interrupt, but... Uh, I, what how did you guys see that thing that he just settled the divorce thing with Kim K and I, I think he has to pay upwards of like two hundred thousand a month. Yeah. For that child support, not ass, even for alimony. Dude. Wait, before we forget though, I don't have a shot glass. This is the smallest glass that I have. That's okay. It, Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take mine. I got a double here. Mm. Oh, Whew. 
Dude, next Ooh. time we stream, we gotta you gotta go drunky mode. I I need the giggly uh girl vosh, bro. It's very this powerful. This is definitely gonna be the oh look, check it out. I'm here, I got another shot in here. I'm about to <laughs> Oh, you're mixing? Uh, yeah, this time yeah, I'm it's mixing. I... Bro Vosh, make a note though, because uh I, I do expect at least a slightly different anime shirt next time. <laughs> I I like this one. Okay, I'll work on it. I'll keep a note and I'll right. try to um Try to diversify the anime shirts I bring on here. Dude, I've been so like embarrassed recently because this guy who, uh, he's really cool. I wish I remembered his name off the top of my head, but he's been producing uh, stickers for me and Harris. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess he makes shirts, but he sent me a bunch of shirts as samples, and they're really funny. I have one of his, I don't think he's the artist, but I have something on my wall where it's like Cloud Strife. Peter Griffin is dying, and like Cloud Strife is holding his hand. Nope. Um, but he sent me a shirt of Naruto giving Homer Simpson CPR, and the amount of people who have just slightly glanced at the shirt and been like, oh, bro, you like Naruto? Like, dude, let's talk about Naruto. And I'm like, dude, I, please, <laughs> please don't confuse me with that, bro. Dude, I, I just had one of those moments that, like, I, I fucking hate this. I hate this category of person that does this but Filipinos? i was like well yes but <laughs> what did they do no, it was it was <laughs> it, i saw somebody on instagram that's like a fashion poster like just some guy who's like posting his different fits and one of them he was wearing that nirvana shirt that's like the classic with the squiggly smiley face or whatever mm -hmm. and he was like just posed up and it just said like his caption was like trippy like nirvana and i was like Nirvana isn't like trippy. That's not like psychedelic. Me I don't know why that like triggered me, but I was just like, dude, what the like? You're turning I was just into like, one of those guys. I, I, name, name their songs, I, yeah. I hate those guys. That's literally like name one Pink Floyd song. But I'm just like, dude, why would you make your caption trippy like Nirvana? Like tri trippy like, like a really like, like four on the floor like grunge rock band. Like what? That's not like. I just was like, I was almost going to message the guy and be like, yo, delete this. <laughs> it fucking dox him. Yeah. <laughs> Show up Dude, at his I, house. Hey, I have hey. never, I have never met someone who like makes a band or music, their whole personality. Who's not super annoying, dude. Uh, <laughs> slightly related. I went to Vegas one time and I was like, my buddy was in town. We went to like theater camp together, which is incredibly gay. Totally rip on me for that. Totally cool. Um, We're all gay he, here. he was in town and he was like, I'll come with you, bro. And I was like, all right, I'll invite you. And we all took acid and we're like walking around Vegas. And uh, he was being so annoying and cringe that I had to take him back to the hotel room. But uh, I came back to check on him like an hour later. We were all still tripping. And he was like on the phone. He called his dad while on acid and was like talking to him about uh, oh my God. Dave Matthews band. Or something, because he's a big <laughs> fan of me. And he's like, dude, isn't I'm like tripping on acid listening to Dave Matthews Band, Dad. Like, isn't that so cool? And I was just like, bro, what the f what the? Fuck I can't imagine that? any scenario where I was tripping or on drugs where I'm like, dude, I gotta call my dad right now. I gotta tell yeah. him I'm like tripping sack or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I love I love my Christ. folks. I feel like um, the band thing is the more psychotic thing to me. Who the fuck calls someone to say, I'm enjoying the song that I'm listening to? <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Yeah, dude, good. you should be here. I've got, like, my headphones on, and I'm playing. Oh, yeah, dude. Coheed and Cambria. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, they're fresh. They're very who fresh, bro. I don't even know who You've never heard Coheed and Cambria? No. Bro. I wouldn't dude. call someone over it. <laughs> dude, I had a buddy, uh, I guess, just this is just to Vosh, because you're familiar with them, but you know how the lead singer kind of has a high-pitched voice? Yeah. In, yeah, in high school, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about Favor House Atlantic. I'm head, hard but, now uh, thinking about it. It's so good, baby. In high school, uh, my friend was so upset by how high the guy's voice was that he would take every Coheed and Cambria song and slow it down by like 25. percent What? what? So he, dude, and that. he would listen to albums of them slowed down, and I was like. Dude, this is so weird. Oh, that's like this ridiculous. is not how you're meant to listen. Yeah, to when I say album. no homo, I mean no homo. Exactly. Uh, 
that's there hilarious. Is, did you know like the longest album like in history is like 26 years long or something like that? What? Like I think there's a I'm not even kidding. It's like an exper- it was like an experimental like album that like they literally left everything running in the studio for 26 years and I think some of it is just ambient noise but like a lot of it is them actually playing music. Some somebody will know what the fuck I'm talking dudes about. Rock. I, I love it. it. The album has like a cow on it. I love it when dudes dedicate them. their life to an esoteric project that no <laughs> one cares about. So esoteric. Like, yeah. Uh, dude, wait. Yeah, I got a plug. I was just listening to this album, just driving around with the windows down, listening to the self-titled album by Naked Eyes, which is a like '80s out. Al- Have you guys ever heard that one? Naked, Naked Eyes. Eyes. You're gonna you'll nah, recognize some. There's some '80 hits on there. Yo, any any Voshites listening right now, you want to listen to some music after we hop off the pod, bro? Fucking play Naked Eyes, the album Naked Eyes. What should they banger. What should they listen banger to? Banger after banger, they don't stop. What should they listen to if they have a 26 hour long commute coming up? <laughs> a what? Uh, sorry, tw- sorry, twenty six year. My bad. I fucked it up. Thir- oh, twenty six years. You can listen to year like thirty four through like forty eight, and basically get the gist of what the band was going for. Yeah, so that way you only spend like twelve. Years. Yeah, you can. Uh, they're they're pretty good, but uh, you know, their their best years was definitely like seventeen to nineteen. You know, anything past that kind of kind of fell off. It's like The Simpsons, literally. It, actually, do, um, yes. Vosh, do you live with other streamers? Uh, Kanye streams the aforementioned Wait. hottie femboy that our man over here um, Based. wants to see walk oh, by the camera. Like, Based. Are they on? Did you pay? Uh, uh, you pay Twitter? their rent. That's like you giving back to the community, right? Yeah, to the femboy community. No, I was gonna I, say you you better be paying Vermin's rent because the way you were like treating her like a bartender <laughs> ten minutes ago. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a double. Yeah, hey, babe, we're starting soon. Hurry. Hurry, make that quick. Okay, first of all, yes, I do pay the rent, because it seems like a cunty move to not, given the, the respective income differences. And also, that was a very respectful demand for alcohol. Oh, fuck, I still have this cocktail. Hold on. Oh, Beast. let's go, yeah. Dude, I gotta fucking plug this. Holy shit, I just... I just mixed with this Trader Joe's <sighs> sparkling pomegranate Bro. punch. Bro, this shit is fucking banging. So Dude, I'm so glad good. you're not drinking Moscato, Vosh, because one of my buddies, I actually live right below him now. He got me this new room set up, mm. um, but he's really into alcohol, and he watched the Vosh episode. He's a big fan of cold cuts, and he was just Fuck like, yeah. for 10 minutes talking my ear off, dude, like, of course Vosh drinks Moscato. Why is he? Why is <laughs> Vosh drinking a dessert wine? Uh Dude, dude you must have had a fucking killer hangover, though, because that shit's sugary, right? Dude, no, I don't get hangovers. Um, dude, I don't either, but I started recently. I'm telling you, hold on to that, because I it, it feels like you're lucky, but they're going to come. Oh, no, How I know. Are you, again? are you younger than me? I'm 28. 20? Dude, fuck you, bro. I just turned 29. I'm ready to end hey, it all. Oh, God. dude, old. I'm ending it all, fuck. baby. Right um, behind you. Um, no, the I just... I feel like the only time you get hangovers, really, is if you go from drunk to sober while you're sleeping. So you either just don't sleep or wake up drunk and then sober up while you're awake and you're fine. Ooh, that sounds, Dude, yeah, that's terrible. I don't know. Any, I, I used to never get hangovers. Then I started drinking more sugary shit and it was like, it fucks me up in the AM, dude. Do, uh, Bro, did you guys this... see this news about uh, Liver King? It was, is, um, on Roy's. Oh, I was dude, so happy so... to see that. How do people so not real like unless you're like retarded, dude? People had to know. People if had to know. you're like mid twenties or late twenties, you have enough testosterone where you could. Well, no. Even if you were mid twenties or late twenties, you couldn't look like that naturally. There are I don't just... know why anyone literally was like, "He's eating liver, so he's natty." There's it's just, like, dude, there's no. this like whole fucking market of guys who like are porn addicts and haven't been able to bag a chick in years. So they assume it has to do with their T levels, and then they'll find the first guy online who will explain to them how they can elevate it. Chat, I'm showing you what this guy looks like right now. If you're a fucking grown adult, and you look at this guy and you think, oh yeah, that's natty, you're a retard. I'm sorry, and you deserve to fall for whatever fucking uh, 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 crypto shit or supplements <laughs> he's selling you. Oh my Wait, god. What was he selling? He was selling supplements, right? In like yeah, a lifestyle? like liver shit or whatever. Uh, dude, 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 have you guys seen that? Speaking of people who like lie about the, that type of shit, mm-hmm. um, he goes viral every like year. But it's this dude who's like, this is a picture of me three years ago when I was like looking at porn every day. 
Blah, blah, yeah. blah. He, like, looks oh very God, soy. No and then he literally good. just changes the lens. Dude, yeah. so fucking embarrassing. Dude. It's like, dude, you really expect me to believe you stopped jacking off for three months and Bro. your jaw... They're not bigger. Your like, bone gonna, just fucking flares out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the guy's name necessarily because, eh, but it's like, dude, if you go on social media and you post a photo of yourself that's supposed to be like, look how much I've glowed up, haters. It's like, and, and it's, I literally and, know exactly who you're talking it's about. Like, right it's now. like, uh, buddy, first, like, there's no amount of glow up that would make that not cringe, but like 99% of the time they did not glow up. Like they the Alex Jones. Yeah, it, the it, Alex Jones I was about to say, after. it's yeah. literally it's the literally... Alex <laughs> Jones photo. Dude, it's there's like, no way he looked one, at that and was like, 25. yeah, I look way better in the second pick. He literally just looked more red. <laughs> the problem, the thing that he is probably a contractual thing. The thing that really fucks me up, and I actually, I talk a lot about like men's issues, like self-esteem and stuff, because a lot of lefties don't because they're all soy and they hate talking about that. They hate masculinity, hate men, but I don't. Um, well, I do, but only the ones I hmm. sleep with. And anyway, um, Based. the Based. Um, Based alert? The, 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 there are so many guys who like are suffering because masculinity is complicated and they don't know how to do it properly and it's so difficult and confidence is hard and they want like, they, they, they need like an easy out, right? They want like a biological answer because it's so much easier to say like okay why don't i feel masculine oh it's because i'm not taking these fucking liver supplements obviously or be because of the jews yes. it, or no literally that yeah it's it's yeah external spoke to the other jews and they told me yeah, yeah, that's yeah okay, if you could kindly turn your testosterone sucking gun away from me uh, for a bit, that'd be great. But literally, like, externalize, right, externalize. Yeah. When in reality, the solution to, like, 98% of life problems, unironically, is, like, take a day off, take a deep breath, suck it up, and then just, like, work out a day-by-day -day plan. And But nobody wants to do that, because that sucks, and it's tiring, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so you get the fucking liver king, where this guy's on HGH, enough to kill, like, a, a, a horse. Um, Dude, I mean, have you seen guys the pay for supplements. Have you seen what like Chris Hemsworth looked like in the first Thor movie versus post HGH? Tree? Yeah. Is it HGH? Yeah, hold on, Chris HGH. Hemsworth H muscle no, growth. It, but it's but it's like he it's like his entire the structure of his head changed. Like he like went from a normal looking human to uh, I don't know. He looks like a Lego. Like he's made. Dude, of I think if you, I think if you do the cycle correctly, you shouldn't see any freaky changes. But you can always tell when someone is overdoing steroids or HGH because their head gets bigger. It's literally yeah, like no, it, it looks yeah, like it a makes fucking everything bigger, dude. including your organs, which is why it can lead yeah. to organ failure. Dude, the worst one, the absolute worst one. Even though his body looked way better, he just looks like a fucking gargoyle ogre freak. Is uh, he usually does comedy shit. I think he was in Silicon Valley, but he was in that recent um, what was that stupid fucking Marvel movie where there was like a guy named Drood? What? Etern what the Eternals oh, the or whatever? Eternals. Yeah. Who's that guy I'm thinking of? I think he's Indian. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Dude, he, the, he had the worst glow up, dude. He literally looks like a Lego figure. Well, but, but that's what I mean is that there's these type of guys where actually... There's... Hmm, I'm, I'm not even coming from this... At this from like a nutrition yeah, standpoint, chat, but it's is... like... There, there are people one. that actually look better when they're four, not four. in shape, and then people get like in shape, and it's like their face doesn't change, and you're like, I'm still picturing you out of shape. I feel like that suited you better. Yeah, and he's one of those guys. I'm what like, Why what are a you lot shredded? of people really don't understand un until you've been in a gym and seen them is that really big dudes look like kind of normal on screen. I think. But if you're ever physically around somebody who's like an active steroid user or somebody who works out a lot, a lot, it's actually very strange. Like all, all, in comics, in drawings, on the screen, it's like, oh yeah, they're a big guy. Um, but when you see it in person, it's like, wow, that's actually like a very strange way for humans to look, you know? Yeah. Um, it's weird, right? Uh, I don't know. It shit kind of weirds me out. I mean... In general, like, I think the whole world of body mod is so, like, foreign to me because I've never, I don't even have a tattoo. So I'm like, I just can't imagine, like, 
I've never I've never wanted to like I like I work out because I wanted to like change what my body looked like a little bit, but that was like a slow progression over time. But like it must be a really weird feeling to like overnight wake up and you look different. Do you know what I mean? No, bro, fully. you've uh you've beeped beefed up. Because in college, you weren't like a twink in college, but you were kind of like thinner. But you're, I was uh, too hairy to be much a twink more in college, now. but I checked all the other boxes. Yeah, no, I was really, really small. I, I mean, I'm still like not a huge guy, but I at least like I work out pretty much every day. So it's like I, I've tried, but that, but that's like that's like noticing little changes over weeks and months and years. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about like it must be weird to take like a steroid and like how quickly does that shit work i don't know i've never it can work it it depends on the steroid usually you run light light test cycles um it can be a really good way of promoting muscle growth and also recovery so you can like get back to the gym faster mm -hmm. um the the if you run like a light trend cycle or whatever it can actually work really really quick especially if you haven't done it before um and then you get diminishing returns and have to cycle up depending on like how far you're going i just want to mm -hmm. say super quickly while we're on it in terms of like body dysmorphia or whatever I'm showing this to string, but if you've seen it, like the difference between what Hugh Jackman looked like in X Men Two as Wolverine, oh, oh yeah, versus, yeah, dude. that's an insane photo. Yeah, yeah and it, versus, and it's like in just twenty years, our conception of like a muscular fighter guy has yeah. gone from what a human can look like to like the top zero point zero zero zero. Nobody looks like that normally. It's all, no. no, you have to like dehydrate for 48 hours before. It, insane, Dude, uh, yeah. to make the point more extreme, if you look at like old James Bond movies, the, guy, the guys are usually still handsome, but some of them even have like guts. Yeah. Like, uh, I know, yeah. Yeah, the old Hollywood sex sexy guy was like yeah. uh, not most that those... fucking ripped. No, most and of them. And had a hairy chest. Like yeah yeah the hugh true. jackman one though is crazy because i'm literally picturing i've seen that picture before it's like when he's like like this or whatever from the old ones and it's like the abs aren't even that defined i mean he still looks good but it's just like it's nowhere near what people expect yeah. sean connery in the old bond had like a light gut and just a fucking bush of hair in his chest he just looked like a dude which is what people look like but now, like, of course, Daniel Craig had to be completely hairless and ripped. It's, what is this hairless bullshit? Every isn't dad bod a thing? Why the fuck are they afraid of showing chest hair? These I really don't get the hair thing. Yeah, wax. last episode we were on, Harris's shirt became unbuttoned, and he was like sitting at a very handsome angle, and I was like, bro, <laughs> bro, I feel like uh, he has to honor his people. Most chicks, yeah, though, right, that yeah. I know are like into at least like a little hair. Um, I, I don't yeah, know why this memory funny. is so vivid, but I remember my aunt who's like 80 years old was talking to my mom one time and was just like, oh, I love, I love hairy men. I feel like I'm being ravaged by an animal. And I was like, <laughs> please, Jesus Christ, Jesus man, Christ, please, shut up. The fuck up. The, you, yeah. know, you, you know what it makes me, you know what it makes me think of is, you know, the sponge, the SpongeBob bit where he puts on the slide on like, like muscle arms and he's like veiny, more veiny. And for the ladies. Harry. Harry. And they get like yeah. <laughs> Past high school, I haven't met any chicks who have been like, oh yeah, I like hairless guys because most guys aren't hairless, you know? Yeah. In high school, you know, you've got your K-pop models, whatever. And past that, um, but yeah, what the hair I swear to God, dude, the hairless guys up there in Hollywood, I've got two explanations. One of them is that everyone in Hollywood is a pedophile, so they just go by hairless because that's what they're used to. And True. This, the second one is that this is for other guys. Because a guy, because you know who likes looking at fucking Chris Hemsworth or whatever, Thor? Other guys, Myron the Gaines. Not fucking chicks or whatever. Chicks are there for all types of guys, but the hypermuscular dudes are there for guys to soy over. And if you have a hairy chest on that, then it feels like some, like a bare gay kind of 1980s San Francisco deal. So mm -hmm. I feel like they, they wax that shit so the guys can mire without like feeling gay, you know? Yeah. I, um,. I've gotten more hairy over time, but I've always had hairy legs and hairy arms, but my chest has gotten a little... Bro, your chest is hairier than mine, bro. My chest is pretty hairy. My I grow a pretty big beard now, yeah, but it's like... What are you going to do? What are you gonna it's not bad. So my... It's good. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. We're, we, we, we hit puberty a while ago. I know, yeah. I I mean, dude, I was just hanging out with one of my boys who's like I've, I've known for a long time, and this is one of those guys... He's like a big dude, 
and he's had like a full mustache since like the sixth grade like he is just like the dude yes. is he's just super fucking hairy dude and i i just saw him the other day and he was wearing like a normal t-shirt like a crew neck not a v-neck like a crew neck t-shirt and he had a full it looked like there was a hamster tucked in there like he had <laughs> so much fucking hair peeking out of the top and i'm like god damn bro dude that was the worst hair. fashion era if you're listening to this and you own any v-necks bro fucking throw them throw out. That shit out that looks so even what if, if you're a guido you're like even if you're a guido, guido bro dude there's things where like if you're buff and have a good body you could literally wear like dog feces and look good you cannot look good in a v-neck dog in it looks so you know. fucking shitty it does Especially make you look like a gigantic cunt. yeah it's terrible. oh god yeah get no. a Why get a cap that, i feel shirt. like um this is what you need dude American Apparel made those V-necks like really popular for a while. Like that was where you went to go get the fucking V-neck that went down to your belly button if you were a dude. Like, they never looked good. Yeah. They never looked good. If you yeah, want yeah, a ass. functional V-neck, just wear a button-up shirt with like two buttons down or whatever. Oh, that, you know what that makes me think of? Here's a question for you. Maybe a question for the chat as well. What is a current fashion trend that we're going to look back in like 10, 20 years and be like, what the fuck? What were we thinking back then? Like, why was everybody doing the that FR shit? no cap hair, the the bushy hair thing? Oh, the the zoomer hair. Oh, yeah. the yeah. zoomer Rocky hair. Cut. Yeah, I think we're well, already dude, uh, beginning to sour on that as a as a society. I have to I have to chime in, and Harris, you should be chiming in too because we're both curly haired boys. Uh -huh. I think that that's just curly hair hatred. Because correct me if I'm wrong, mm. is the zoomer haircut not just? It's the cut. It's, it's the, cut. the that like the you it's know. The, fades it's side fades harsh, or it's like the undercut with like like really curly white boy hair like yeah. on top that's the fucking zoomer cut we should yeah. be supporting our the broccoli white cut boys. <laughs> it is a broccoli cut that's what it looks like yeah but i see that shit everywhere bro holy shit you know whose barber is an undercover op fucking that guy milo yiannopoulos or whatever bro his shit is Fucked. I just saw that. It photo sure looks of him. like ass, bro. Dude, I saw that photo of him with Kanye, and I was <laughs> like, "Oh my god, dude! That your barber is actually sabotaging you." Dude, like, I didn't he's recognize. Got a, him. He's got a Jewish barber. Milo's a Nazi, so this is like dude, their. This dude, is their. I, uh, that's inglorious it. bastards. Back. Yeah, dude, I saw that, and I was like, my jaw was on the floor, and how bad that fucking haircut was. Oh my god. No, it looks terrible. terrible. Dude, his yeah. His linking up with Kanye is like the the Fuentes things make sense to me because Kanye's been talking about this stuff for a while. He's kind of into like Candace Owens and stuff, so it's like, okay, I understand the Kanye link up with Fuentes. I do not understand why he's willing to work with Milo. Um, I just think he's Milo insane. just seems so whack, dude. Dude, my buddy, we got to get him on the podcast, Terrace. I got to talk to him. Uh -huh. First of all, t just to give you backstory on this guy, he was like a Twitter guy who I was friends with and he was like, bro, I'm coming to, an L to LA. And I was like, oh, let's chill, let's chill. And he rolls up, comes over and he's like, literally within the first two minutes of him coming to my house, I was like, bro, look what I snuck on the plane. And he pulls out a nine millimeter. And I was, <laughs> I was like, crazy. brother, I am going to die. But uh, yeah. dude, I guess Milo hired him though. Cause he was like really big in like social media stuff. Milo hired him as like his social media manager. But he cut ties with him, but like, and dude, this is like an, I feel like an open secret almost, because I feel like I've heard this from multiple people, but Milo's this guy gay? was, exactly, baby. No, but he was telling me how Milo would throw That's these good. like lavish parties for like rich lawyers and shit, and that they would invite very young, like Twinkie dudes. Oh, Bro. yeah, 100%. Which it's is like fucking fucked, Milo. Yeah. yeah. He's... Milo is like, like Milo is like the energy of the Nazi who would be Epstein if he didn't hate himself so much. You know, if he had the money and a little bit more confidence, he could have he could have hit that milestone. Um, he's a wacky guy. I, wacky guy. He's a he's wacky be, dude. He's got to be the most famous, like. Ex gay person, like outspoken. I was gay and I'm not gay. He's still gay to me, baby. Ex gay. That guy. I, no, I know, cum. but it's like he cut. Obviously, he, I don't know how you could be ex gay, but like, I don't know anybody else like a celebrity who's come out and been like, I was gay, but I'm not gay anymore. He's the only person I know. Well, he's he's not really like respected anywhere, right? I, I, the funny thing to me with him being 
partnered the up easy with, land he is. with yeah. Kanye now is that Milo is the most bridge burningest guy in the universe. He was the one, remember, he was the one who dropped the clip of Richard Spencer um, freaking out after the Charlottesville stuff. The, 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 when, when he was screeching about yes. like, yes. Yeah. Milo yes. brags about getting dirt on people that he's around. Like he's a drama queen. He's very gay. Um, so like, He's. This is gonna end in tears, man. He's gonna post pictures of Kanye's asshole to social media. Um, it's really funny that he's involved in all of this. Well, dude, that's the other thing. Yeah. Someone leaked, and I'm I'm shocked Kanye hasn't like brought it up or gotten mad at him because uh, I don't know when Kanye was um, a few years ago before Kanye like got on the the kind of like anti Jewish grind. There were all these like leaked chats of milo saying like yeah kanye's a homo kanye's closet gay like fucking hating on him and uh i don't know if they were out in the open but someone's been like posting them recently and it's laura like, uh, i think it's it's spicer or lauren uh was it laura loomer laura loomer it was laura loomer um yeah i was saw it laura those Loomer because she called into the alex jones show today i, f I think they're on good terms Did they? it's kind of hard to tell with these people they're all psychotic i don't know hmm She's so annoying, bro. She called into the, the clip so I saw, and she's annoying. like, I'm the most canceled woman in America, blah, blah, blah. Good, stay that way. Holy shit, they're so annoying. They're so... Anyone who makes their grift off of being canceled is so fucking Dude, unbelievably the... annoying. It's... I, 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 like, what, when did that happen where people are just like, yeah, I got canceled. This is my story. Yeah, people don't like me. Hey, what sub to my fuck? podcast. But fucking shut up! I don't like you. Yeah. What? Yes. Like, who is listening to this crap? The, 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 like, what what never makes sense to me is like, what is what is? Oh the fuck! Angle? I'm drunk. I did. I just sorry. I just moved Let's my go, head and realized beast. it took me a second. Let's I fucking go. What is the fucking end goal from all this shit? What do the ops want, bro? What are they? What are they trying to? What what are they trying to accomplish? Like, what do they want to see? That's the annoying thing when you talk to someone, especially if they're like, I'm not, I'm not far right, bro. I'm not far right, bro. And you ask like, what's your end goal? You know, you can even lead them up to the, to the question you're expecting where it's like, you know, should, should immigrants be allowed in America? No. Should we get rid of immigrants in America? Yes. And then it's like, so what's your plan? And it's like, oh, I don't know. Cause, well, cause they, you know, their it's plan like, is is Auschwitz, but they know that if they say that, it comes across really bad. I think there are some of them that are naive enough to not realize it, but, I mean, if your plan is white ethno state and we get the minorities out of here, there's only one way that's ever happened. Only one way in history. Um, I know. I'm but really... a lot of them are really naive. And it didn't even end well for them. No, you know what I mean? But what is like this point didn't... we're referencing? <laughs> the, like... the Holocaust. It's or anything I'm like that. So oh, stupid. Okay. <laughs> there, have been, there have been lots of Holocaust. You, I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, dude, I'm just retarded. There, because this Excellent. happens all throughout history. This happens over and over and over again. And it's like, okay, well, this time will be different. It never works out. I want to be sympathetic. I want to be like, um, okay, well, what's the real underlying problem here? And there are real underlying problems. Um, masculine insecurity, economic problems, right? But at the end All of right. the day... Are you going to give the poly speech again? Well, regardless of what it leads to, you know, regardless of where it came from, this is some really retarded shit. But we, you know, like, I mean, like you pointed out, man, um, the anti-Semitism <laughs> shit just in one month just appeared. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, um, oh God, sorry, I'm drunk now. Listen, okay, bringing it back to funny. The funny, the funny is, <laughs> the funny um, is you know, they're, they're like all Gar dumb. Is there we go, the got it. There. They're all dumb, got it. No, oh, I, dude, I didn't even notice the it's fucking like cat in the back. orange cat sitting behind you right cat? there. Cat? Yeah, turn around. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Guys, cat. look. I just spotted him. Look, this fat do baby. You, do you shut your door normally? Because I feel like your dogs only come in one time so Hold far. On. Uh, yeah, no, I shut my door, because otherwise it's just going to be Bro, like a ton of shit. you got to let her come in one time. The, when she gets on that, you, you know how there's, like, a little piece of your right bed right there? It's the so edge, yeah. cute, dude. It's so cute. She is cute. She needs a haircut, bro. Her hair is fucking crazy. Dude, we used to, uh, my cat, peace be with him, he passed away recently, but, uh, he was a Persian. And, uh, we would get him the lion right. cut. 
and he would get oh, so oh my god fucking pissed dude i don't think cats are that intelligent but there was something well because he needed it because dude we lived in saudi and he was a persian cat he That's was like, like probably sweating his ass off you know what i mean okay i'm back um, i get it but we would get him the Persian cut, and my friends would come over and laugh at him, and I could visibly see him getting angry. And it was like the one time I was like, mm, "Cat intelligence might be cat higher intelligence. than I thought." Well, the you know what's a funny thing that I notice about like dogs and cats and stuff is that like there are certain vocal intonations that you want to believe are like human learned, but actually like cats and dogs do it too. Like when my trying to. When she's like whining or bitching about something, she kind of makes this like burr, 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 noise, and I'm like, "That's such a human sound," you know what yeah. I mean? But it's well, like you kind of made it sound like Blue's Clues. Wow, wow, wow. But but yeah. she does sound like Blue's Clues. I kind of just like Yo. like that grumbling whining wow, noise. Wow. What's up? Real quick, we're down to our last two minutes. Are what? we running it back or are we cutting it here? Oh. Do, do you want to do one more? It's up I, to you, Vashi. Don't, uh, don't, don't let us pressure you. Don't let us pressure you. God, we're out to seven. We're 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 a full hour past how long I thought that I would go. Here, oh, wait, God. run it back, do another one, but I won't run the full time. Okay. Okay. Based. Yeah. Incredibly yeah. Okay. It's too. This is too sudden. We Incredibly can't end it based. like this. Okay. You you're gotta. Right, yeah. you... First of all, bro, you need to get. Do you have a work cell phone? No, I just have my cell phone. Okay. I'm so sick of DMing you oh, and just not text hearing me. back yeah. for yeah, three I'll, months, I'll and you... then, but then I'll see you texting like horse penis on twitter and i'm like respond to my dm I will fucking oh kill buddy you, oh buddy you two get responded to faster than almost anyone else that i know oh, you have no idea how bad it everyone gets. yeah Let's you have no idea how bad dude, it gets in the last minute be honest bro i feel like you're just trying to be nice you have not been having schnozen fraud or that fucking fruity version german word is you have not been feeling that over the destiny mr girl stuff no i i swear i don't know what happened no, listen honest to god here's the tea it's this is fresh okay uh first time it's being heard okay the only shit that i know about the whole um about the beef between them is that mr girl dm'd me saying like hey we're both abuse victims of destiny and i want you to help me come out against him and i just fucking ignored it bro oh, no what a fucking way. soulless weirdo because he was fucking mad at you when he was like what would be the hottest panties for uh, is that uh -oh. word cuts it's a, I'm here. Oh. Yeah, Vosh is disingenuous. Uh, Vosh oh. is disingenuous. Blah blah blah. No, oh, it's did I cut no, out? Mr. G Mr. Girl's a fucking freak. Um, he he'll just say like he'll just say any despicable sh. Fuck. The Yellow Swag Studios guy is unironically misogynist. Why is Vosh platforming him? Um, I don't think he's unironically misogynist. Um, I, I think they're both quite progressive. Um, I mean, yellow swag is, is very edgy, that's for sure. But, I mean, I'm hardly the one to complain about that. Oh god, I'm drunk now. <laughs> What's this new drama? The Mr. Girl Destiny thing's a little bit old. Um, I, I guess they just had a falling out? I don't know. Mr. Girl's a freak, Destiny's a freak, you know. Couldn't have happened to nicer people. Jewel while driving. Hey, Big Vosh. We're back, baby. That sounds like a tipsy hey. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little in there, to be honest with you. I just spent, like, 20 minutes drunkenly, um, uh, uh, and sentimentally talking about my, uh, video game preferences to my chat, so I'm definitely at least a little bit oh, blasted. well, give us, what are give your us preferences? the, uh, yeah, give us the, uh, abridged version. Oh, well, I've been playing Doom while we talk, um, yeah, and I have... Is it the OG one? The OG one, yeah. Well, oh, okay. uh, the okay. Final Doom, which is actually a Doom 2 um, a map pack that was elevated by id Software. But it, it effectively the original, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was just talking about the value of playing older games, which I now fully believe. I've gotten so much emotionally out of these experiences. Dude, do you have a emulator? Um, yeah, I do. But this is, this is all modern, above board, GOG uh, remaster stuff. Okay. Well, dude, if you're trying to get into old games, I gotta recommend Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo. It is so fucking good, dude. I've never played Super Punch-Out. Bro, dude, do a stream while you're playing that, bro. And if it's you fun. you have to do it above board, I think, uh... I, I swear I'm not making this up. I swear Nintendo has a rule where if you own the game, 
you're legally allowed to emulate it. That's the law. Yeah, you can make copies and personally obtain copies of a piece of media if you own the original source material. Okay, um, yeah, dude, you can pick up a SNES cartridge for dude, Super Punch Out for like ten bucks. Su Super Mario World, like that is Bro. that is still probably the best Mario game that's ever come out. Like it, like that is it's like the perfect platformer. Dude. I beat that one fairly recently. Like I played through it, and I w was blown away how fucking good it is. It's Don't get me wrong. Game. I think a lot of the 3D Mario games are fun. Um, Sunshine is super fun because it's like so fucking fast paced. <laughs> Um, a lot of those 3D games are fun, but someone needs to literally hire Nakato Avocado to sit on Mario and flatten <laughs> him out, turn him 2D again, and Nintendo needs to make one more fucking 2D type Mario game. I know they kind of do it with like the new Super Mario Bros, but it's like, it's not quite as good. It's not quite, it's not the, quite, same. quite the same. Yeah. Dude, I miss, uh, I'm like so, I don't know if this is my Pokemon autism that I bring up all the time, but like. Yeah. Vosh, are you a Pokemon guy or not really? I actually really dislike Pokemon. Oh, uh, really? what's the reason behind that? Lazy games. They just keep what remaking do you mean? the same game. I like innovation episode to episode. They've got like 57 games that are all the same game. Here's the thing, bro. If you start playing competitively, you'll see that they do kind oh, of change. I the do meta get, changes. Okay. I do get that competitively. I think it's fully okay. Because I know, I, I have a friend who's into competitive. Uh, they're galley in chat. I have a friend who's in a competitive Pokemon. I know this shit is like minute fucking change. Ah, oh, they they moved Giga Blast from six uses to five. This changes yes, the meta. Yeah. yeah, full fucking. But in terms of the single player experience, it's that's much fair. Yeah. That's fair. They're I, very uh, easy. My, yeah, uh, yeah. Dude, I don't know why. If anyone from Nintendo is listening, you will make so much money if you make. And not even like an adult Pokemon game. It doesn't have to be like you have sex with the Pokemon and breed them. No, no, no. Hold on. It does have to be that. Actually, hold on. Yeah, don't... Vosh's whole team is Ponyta. Just don't fucking all don't these like, Pokemon. I've actually Rub done Smasher up. Pass for every Pokemon up to date. Did you do that? Oh, really? Yeah. Why don't we run what, through uh, one together? Why don't we run through like uh... it's like eight hours of content if you want? Did to you smash on Low Pony? Hold on. Yeah, yes, yeah, I know. yeah. Why don't, yeah. You, why don't you ask the chat to drop us 10 Pokemon and we can play Smash or Pass? Um, Dude, yeah. we're trying to get a, uh, with the Patreon, we're trying to get like a Pokemon Showdown thing going, and I was super hype, but I showed Harris. Po do, are you aware of Pokemon Showdown? Probably not, Vosh, so I'll no, give you a run through. Hold it's on, like, really uh, quick. Can somebody explain to me why Vore or like Fat Fetish fan art of everything is so quick to the top of the search results? What is this? Is this that popular of a kink? Look at I this. Think it, uh, I think your search results are based on what you're looking up. I don't look up oh, yeah, Vore. I don't there, like Vore. Yeah, I'm just throwing that out there, baby. Vore. They, um, uh, is, is, that the, is that the appeal for Mukbang and like Nikocado Avocado? Is it Vore shit? There's got to be some people who watch it because of that. Well, have you seen get, how big his asshole is? He could Vore you from any end. I, just, I, I thankfully haven't seen the actual photos, just the edited ones with like a cat climbing out of his ass and shit. Ew. Um, I just don't get mukbang in general. Like mukbang is really nasty to me, and like anytime I see clips of it, it's like re it's like repulsive. It's really gross. Because yeah. I don't understand why people how it gets such high viewership because there must be some mental like disconnect between the way I view mukbang and the way people who are watching it view it because it just yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. I think part of it's honestly like an ASMR thing because you hear the person eating. But um, that's disgusting to me. I no, it's hate disgusting. It's just disgusting. Eat. Yeah. Anyway, Vosh brought up his fetishes. No, Vor. I, it, it's Vor. Um, no, I dude, this memory popped into my head. I feel like you'll appreciate it, Vosh, because it's horse related. Although, uh, not not quite probably what you're thinking, but uh, at the high school I went to, it was a boarding school, and um, there's this guy there, Abdul, and he was literally like a uh, he wasn't in the royal family. This is the way Saudi Arabia works. Um, you could literally be like 10 gener not 10 generations, but like 10 people removed from the royal family and you're still very rich. Uh -huh. Just because like the royal family is like, fuck you money. They have a ton of money. Yeah, but, it's um, crazy. This guy, Abdul, was at my boarding school and uh, it, it, his parents had to be loaded because they would every month send him crates of Saudi dates. Um, which at first glance, you're like, bro, why don't you just go to the Ralphs or the piggly wiggly and pick up dates you cannot beat the dates from saudi they're so fucking good um yeah. 
but what we do in boarding school is if you ever left your room open, we'd all sneak into your room, the, uh, the boys' dorm, and we'd go look at, like, what porn you're looking up. And we were, like, looking through his porn folders, and um, we found this one that was hidden. And we're like, what's this? What is this? And we open it. Dude, this guy had, like, 20 videos of horses breathing. Oh, God. This is having sex. Yeah. Uh, he came back to his room and we so were like, "So hot, it's cutting his internet Abdul, connection." Just why so do you hot. have this? Exactly, exactly. But we're like, "Abdul, why do you have these?" And he was like, "My father breeds horses. He's just showing me how to do it, like how you're supposed to breed." And it was huh. literally just horses was... having sex. There was nothing to learn. There was Fuck nothing yeah, to learn. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Oh. Well, yeah. You got to shame this king. Listen, I've said this before. He's and I'll probably say your again, biggest okay? fan, baby. Go to any fucking not safe for work artist one in three chance they draw alts of every porn scene with horse cocks instead of human ones why that is a very popular it. cock it's a big cock people like big cocks they like them they pe a lot of bottoms want to be reshaped into the exact dimensions of a condom um and a if lot of cocks have, want to do that yeah you you think you want that but i think mr hands has showed us that uh it's not safe Okay, it's well, you know what? Safe. It's it, that's the miracle of drawn pornography. Okay, um, you can you can explore worlds you could never otherwise tread yeah. into. Really I, quickly, I, okay, hold on. Good. We've had a good, good time talking. It's been fun. There is a subject we haven't touched on nearly enough, which is of What's course that? Jewish people. Jews. Yeah. Exactly. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so on. So it's actually going down right now on Twitter. If you could kindly. Go over to Kanye West's Twitter I account. I saw this thing he just posted recently. I don't Elon know. Elon DM'd to. him. Elon Musk DM'd him saying, oh no, texted oh. him directly really? saying, hey, you shouldn't post the swastika with the with the Hebrew star. Really? Wait, I can't even look him up. Hang on. Kanye. What's his Twitter handle? Just Kanye West. Um yeah, Elon texted him saying Sorry, but you have gone too far. This is not love. And it's the photo that Kanye took of an iPad with a sketched out Hebrew star with a swastika. And then Kanye responds, who made you the judge? Wait, I, I don't understand. I'm actually looking up Kanye right, Kanye West, and he's not showing up. Oh, right? the, ha Dude, the he handle was, is ye. The he was hidden yeah, for me ye. too, but uh, I found it. How'd you find it? I, is Twitter y -Y -E. suppressing him? Go to, uh, you have to click accounts after you type it in, but, uh, okay. People. This I is... do have to admit the Jewish star with the swastika built into it. It does go hard. It does look very fresh aesthetically. Yeah, it's I a must... banger. Let's remember yeah. this is my final tweet. Hashtag ye 24. And it's that Musk rib cage photo. What the fuck is going on, dude? Oh wow, he just posted. Let's all remember this as my final tweet, and it's the it's this heinous photo of Elon Musk on the boat ride getting hosed. Let's down. break one last window before we get out of here. What the fuck wait, is going fuck, is on? That, wait, is that a That's Chris, Chris Paul? Chris, is That's that a, is that a Christel knock? I caught this guy with Kim. No fucking way. Is that's that, that's a famous that's a basketball player. Is that famous a Christel knocked reference? The night of broken glass? Wait, what? I don't know what that is. I think that I don't know. that's it, it was there was a there was a government sponsored like mass uprising against Jewish people and businesses in Nazi Germany um before Dude, well, the Holocaust everyone, really we kicked had off. An... And they the, it's named Kristallnacht, broken glass for the windows of the businesses they broke. I don't know. Just like when BLM broke windows. Just like Kristallnacht too, baby. Hell yeah. I might be Ooh. overthinking it. It's just I don't know, man. He's Blitler. Dude, what the fuck is going on? I didn't watch. You're like, charge your phone. <laughs> Bro, we gotta, the next guest we have on the pod needs to have a receding hairline because I'm so sick of being surrounded by two men with beautiful hair. Gotta bring Dude, Kanye It's on. too much. I, th this it's too like, much. Just looking at Kanye West's Twitter right now, as I can't believe, you know what's going to be crazy is watching this podcast. Like, It's like, oh shit, we were watching this fucking Kanye West get banned from Twitter live. Balen like this shit was happening. Balenciaga <laughs> for life? De never turn our back on? demna and the balenciaga family for life cancel cancel culture jesus please heal i stand by balenciaga and denounce all witch hunts i 
I'm t dude, he's going to shoot himself. I'm not joking. Like, this is a level of mania that ends in, like, obituary. That's what I'm saying. Is like, all of his actions are starting to just see... I, dude, I cannot believe he just said Chris Paul. He caught Chris Paul with Kim Kardashian. Wait, is this Chris Paul? This guy's black. What? Dalio Chris Paul? Who? No, I know that you're looking at the last name. It's like a yearbook. See, it says Delio, who is the guy above him. Paul is Chris Paul. That's that's the uh, CP3. That's the point guy that he plays for the Phoenix Suns right now. But he is like uh, he's been in the NBA for a while. Oh, wait, I'm thinking dude, of Jake Paul. I was thinking of on, Jake dude. Paul. I'm so fucking <laughs> stupid, dude. Holy shit. I'm so. Oh my god, I was thinking uh, of Jake We Paul. can be thankful for that, that Ye and Jake have not uh Yeah, collapsed. thank god that's, the, that's the, the one thing. The Ye Jake bridge is still intact. Thank god. <gasps> Dude, what the fuck is going on right now? Bosh, don't refresh. Wait, hold on. Uh oh. He might have posted something not safe for work. Let me see. Who whoever in chat just said that is the real one. Bro, while don't you're looking this no, up, have you been uh here? have you been banned recently, Vosh? Um, or were you taking a break from streaming? No, I got I feel like you I were got off channel for a while. strikes on fucking YouTube. Um, oh, for what? Um, there was a Republican ad where they were making a, a joke about rhino hunting, except by rhino, they mean like Republican in name only. It was a Republican ad. It was like some crazy fucking QAnon adjacent ad. My main channel got busted on show, like looking at that ad. So like I, I for what I viewed, copyright? No, no, for 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 hateful content. A bunch of other uh, channels had it. David Pakman, had, uh, Sam Cedar, a bunch of channels showed that ad, but my channel got mass reported for that. So then it got on both my main and secondary channel got nuked for that. Super fucking dumb, bro. Jesus Christ, man. Do you? Um, uh, you're like a bigger streamer. When when someone else like uh, I feel like if me and Harris got a strike, it would be like a big deal. Um. Do yours like fade away on YouTube or do they like stack up? Are you like on your last strike? I'm not on my last strike. It takes three months for a strike to go away in terms of its impact. Chat, what went away? Wait, chat is saying that something went that 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 Kanye posted something that I shouldn't have on my thing. But then What's it went away. What was right it? Now? Dude, this is like I like, Did he post I, cock? I know... Did he post balls? I was just acting like I don't care about this Kanye shit, but it's like I cannot look away. This is too fucking crazy. You don't often see things fall apart. This like obviously this is this crazy. Way, you know, dude, I hated that book. Did you guys have to read that? What? Book? what? Things fall apart. I uh, no, I don't no, know. Uh, what is that? I think it's based on like apartheid or something. But I'm pretty sure I'm totally incorrect, and I'm probably just saying this because the main character is black. But I'm 99 percent sure it takes place in Africa, and. uh Dude, all I remember about the book it's is it's like they were their yam harvest didn't come through, and it's like every three sentences they're talking about yams, and I was like, dude, I do I don't care, I do dude, not care what? about this. I'm uh, shocked you didn't have to read that, bro. I'm I pretty sure that. that yeah, I've got a piss. Hold on one second. I'm pretty sure that yams. whatever happened is um, bro. It's just us. We've taken over Vosh's live stream. Oh hell! Oh, we on the live stream. Right N word. Now? Say the N word. Okay, Wait, I'm just double checking. I clicked we record. Haven't even, we haven't even plugged. Yo, guys, listen. I hate to do this, but if you want to fucking listen to us talk about some other shit that's not related to politics, if you want to get away, listen. I love Vosh as much as the next guy. I love, I love him just like you guys love him. But do you want to like get your head out of the fucking like just talking about this crap? <laughs> Who fucking cares? It's bad for your mental. Nobody wants to hear the shit. If you want to talk about something else? Lighthearted, fun memes. You know, we talk about some serious shit too, but like go on down youtube.com slash cold cuts pod. All right. You could support us on patreon.com slash cold cuts. Like the lunch oh Jesus coming back. We probably should have made that the same. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm we should have nice. same thing. Look at my cat. Mm. Me so cat. He's very cute. <laughs> He's very, very cute. He's a little, little boy. What's the uh what's cat. what's his name? Artemy. Ooh. Is he a Artemy. full breed or he's a tabby? Um, he's a mix. I think we've got. A, he's got some Maine Coon because he's really big. Oh baby, yeah, Ooh. that is a really cute cat. Very cute cat. I love him. That's what you call black people from the Northeast. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, a little edgy humor. We disavow. A little edgy humor for you guys. Um. Dude, yeah. We'll watch I'm still blown away, bro. Hold you up too much. What's yeah, up? yeah, yeah. For sure. Also, dude, 
I think the original plan this every time you live stream with us, we get like a huge jump in followers. The original plan was every time we hit another thousand, like two K to three K, we wanted to have you on. Um but but we gotta work something out, okay? Mainly because we have a lot of Voshites in the Cold Cuts Discord. We do. They get really I excited. Like coming on I need I a like little more Vosh in my life, baby. Yeah. I just like coming um, on because I like coming on. Dude, it's literally no like it's that. Great. It's literally like leftover podcast, but for straight people and people <laughs> who aren't cringe. Like it's it's yeah, it's crisp. just the the D soy leftover, the the big competitor. We'll bust those numbers any day now. Um, one hundred percent. No, for real, for real. I I should. Dude, you better. Uh, you need to you need to keep your nose clean, okay? Because the amount of people who hit us up who are like, bro, you're tying yourself to Vosh. He's gonna get in trouble for grooming in like a few months. Grooming. He's, grooming he's been horses. talking to. He's been going to young horses and giving them sugar nah, cubes yeah, and hearing, saying hearing that that's that for consent. Years, any second now, yeah, the underage horse barn he keeps at his basement is going to get raided by the cops. Yeah, they'll um, yeah, they'll they'll find my underage horse barn over my dead body. I've got that <laughs> shit buried up, um, real sneaky. Um, based. It's been a this delight been, talking to you both. This has been really fun. I can't believe we just witnessed this very historical Kanye moment, like, live right at the end here, that I'm gonna be texting you guys if some other shit goes down. Oh, uh, dude, I'm sure next time we stream together, there's gonna 100% be, be more Kanye shit to talk about. You will about. probably be off yeah. Twitter by tomorrow Dude, am morning. I an asshole that I'm not, uh... Because someone was posting and making fun of them, which is fair, because they're Redditors. Although I do like 196. They are they that's the one cool subreddit. That's but a lot a good of people are making yeah. one of the Redditors who were like, we need to delete the Kanye subreddit. Delete the Kanye subreddit. Am I an asshole that like I'm I don't feel any negativity listening to any of his music? Some of his music's banger, bro. I love Kanye music. Well, well the people the like Michael Jackson. The people it's in the good. sub were worried about it just getting raided by a bunch of like Nazi dudes who would just turn it into like screaming about Ye twenty twenty four. In terms of the music, though, I think you, I think you can listen to music from like people like Kanye or whatever else. Totally fine. I don't think there's any issue with that, honestly. Based. So I can Based. listen to Tim Pool's band. <laughs> yes, my favorite band. Oh but wait, God. what's the name of his band? What's what's Tim the name? The Tim and the Pools. The Beanies. Tim probably. and the Pools. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. I love it, Tim and the Pools. It must feel so shitty because you can tell when he posted the his band video. It was like, oh. This is what he wishes he was doing. Right, that's what he wants to be. Doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I. There's something so sad when people do that. I see that. Uh, I don't want to shit talk the guy too much. This could be a little scandalous because I I did talk to him one time and he was fairly nice. But he, I don't know. He, his comics are kind of annoying. But that George Alexopoulos guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure oh, yeah, familiar yeah. with him? Yeah, but it's like whenever he posts shit he's working on that's not a political comic, it doesn't get a lot of hits. And I can tell he's really would rather be doing that. And it's like, bro, you you played yourself. Yeah, that's you how totally I feel. Totally fucked yourself, brother. That's how I feel when I do game streams. And all the people in chat are like, wow, you fucking suck at this. And I'm like, yeah, good thing I do politics mostly. <laughs> are you shitty at games? <laughs> I'm good. They just give me shit anyway. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna too? tune in one time and judge. Because there's how some people you watch play games and it's like, dude... Are you fucking retarded? Why are you having so much trouble with this? Fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, wait, while 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 we're on stream with you and you're drunk right now, who, quick though, I gotta one, go though. Um, okay, just, just you're give not me allowed. One, just give you're me one allowed. person you want to start beef with. Who's one person you want to start beef with? One person you want to start beef with. Hmm. Wait, I'm drunk. How much? All right, it's time. Um, who is it? No, I thought you were gonna leave. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> no, that would have been a good bit though. <laughs> It's time. We're actually I'm flipping I'm flipping all the scales, okay? Contrapoints. Actually bad for the left or something. Bro, really? It's over. It's over. Contrapoints also uh faking being trans. Actually fake being whoa, a whoa, guy whoa, whoa, whoa. at the start is of the channel true? is a cis girl. Yeah, it's true. I have receipts. Mhm. Mm whoa. Dude, bro, shut dude, this is a bit. You're saying contrapoints is cis? No, no. Okay, con it's a bit. Okay, con okay. No, con no, contra's great. Uh no uh oh, fuck, wait, who do I want to start beef with? I love everyone so much. Um, what about um? Can I? What about with Kanye? What about with my roommate? Can I start beef with Kanye? Yeah, start beef. They should talk. Yeah, dude, that would be. You should like maybe get like a baby pool. They're very cheap, and you like fill it with mud, and like you could like wrestle them. 
in front of me. <laughs> yeah, that that would be you totally get them with that, That'd dude. That would be I so solved all my disagreements actually. I yeah. I have had a delightful time talking to you both. This has thank, been really fun. Thank dude. you for thank convincing you so me much. to drink alcohol. Respond oh, to yeah. our DMs. I we got to get you God, on again soon. I'll kill you, you bro. No idea how bad dude, it gets. If, if the streaming shit doesn't work out for you, you're a welcome third honorary member of Cold Cuts. Yeah, but we have, dude, here, we have three thousand subscribers, bro. We could totally like dude, make your career. We'll, we'll put you on for sure. If every yeah, one of those subscribers gave one dollar every day, we'd be rich. Based. That'd be fucking crazy. You yeah, this is super uh, wonderful. Game. All right, um, thanks. Any, dude, thanks again. Bro. Anything to close? I'm trying to think. I, uh, I had a great time, dude. I I should apologize to both of you though. I know we were supposed to start at four. I was 30 minutes late. Oh, dude, you're I'm moving, moving, baby. I'm no. moving. I'm exhausted. I'm dying. I know. I can't believe you did it at all with the moving. Good luck with the rest of the moving. It's been a delight to talk to you both, and I'm sure I will soon again. Thank yes. you guys. All Excellent. right, we'll talk to you soon. Be well. Right, get out of here. Night. I'm gonna, I'm going to talk to Harris while you're gone. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. I really like those guys. Yeah, go sub to their channel, Cold Cuts. Um, and uh, check out their respective Twitters and Patreons and stuff.